Hello everybody, we're back again, and we are gonna beat Dark Magician, I mean Mag, I mean Magus, into the ground. You <laughs> knew I'd get you with that one. Such a good fucking song, dude. It is. Oh, it's it's so good. good. Uh, you know what else has a good song? This one right here. Yes. Uh, I definitely don't have my stream muted. Da, 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 da. This is that whole, so I, I started to watch the video you sent me today. Um, this is, yeah, hi guys, we're all talking it. Uh, Titus, Joe, it's, you know the deal. If you've been here, you've been here. If you haven't, go watch If you're a first time ones. viewer, how did you get here? <laughs> Number one, how? Number two, why? And number three, go watch the other ones. It makes me happy. It makes number go burn, brain go. Well, I mean, watch this one first. Eh, maybe. We're, they're already here. We have to keep them here. Watch Shit. time. <laughs> Can't have them clicking away. Shit. Um. So I started watching the video you had today, and then work. Oh yes. Work has oh. work has just been a fucking so good fucking nightmare and a half. Um. So. But they, they, they've they also done one on Chrono Trigger, that 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 mm, that mm -hmm. the 8-bit channel or whatever the hell he's called. 8-bit music theory. 8-bit music theory. He's done one on, on Chrono Trigger. Yeah. And it's such an interesting um, sword. And the video I sent him today was specifically about the Pokemon trading card game Game Boy game. Which is such a great damn game. It's it is really fun, and the oh, soundtrack. Oh, that shield him! Good. Nice. I forgot what he's weak to. Oh, fucking no! Oh, it's just it's just physical damage. It's just not magic. It's just physical. Yeah, maybe. He's the anti of the other ones, where only magic yeah. hurts them. Um, Dang frog! You just counted the hell out of that boy. Um. So yeah. Um. But it's so cool to see like how. You know, they had such limited technology. And nowadays, it seems like sound files really take up a lot of the space when it comes to making games, at least from what I understand, like a lot of... Anything that has to, like, not be done in engine is going to be the biggest stuff, right? Yeah. And so sound is and one of them. Sound certainly can be one of them, yeah. And, and that's because old games effectively weren't... You weren't storing the sound, you were storing the instructions for the hardware inside your machine to make the sound you weren't storing the music file as an audio file you were storing it as instructions for the however many channels four channels on most of that old stuff to make the music so in a sense they were kind of storing stuff as like a to be done in engine live in a sense so it was yeah so it was a much smaller portion back then yeah, it's 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 very fascinating to see, like game game design is so neat, and I do not have the brain <clears throat> to like do all the. I I'm not a I'm not, my brain is not coded to do coding. <sighs> I get it. Like I can look at it, and someone can walk me through the process, and I go, okay, I understand what's happening, because I have that like baseline knowledge just from engineering in general. But if they were like, do it, I'd be like, no, my my family's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I cannot do anything about this. Yeah. So, like, ugh, doing all the numbers and arranging the code stuff. Like, some games, like, so what's really cool about games nowadays is a lot of games have been made off of RPG Maker. Um, it's a Steam game, all these things. It's, like, what Stardew Valley was made off of, I believe, and some other <clears throat> other games are made off of this off of this thing. It's basically all of that number stuff inside a game. All you have to do is make, like, the the aesthetic the cosmetics all that stuff you have to do all that and there's even some baseline stuff in there too so you really don't have to do too much number programming you can just tweak the numbers it's just interesting that someone programmed a game so you can make a game to look like a game from 30 years ago right just people are wild it's it's like a game engine that's just really restrictive almost yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's just crazy uh the, the, talent it, it just I have none. And some people are like, oh, you can, you can, you know, you can practice so that you don't have to have talent or talent's not a real thing. It's all practice. I'm like, yeah, but it sure would be fucking nice to be naturally gifted at something at this point because I got nothing. 
that's my mental health. How are you doing? Me? Oh, I mean, I'm like fine or whatever. Um, <laughs> or whatever. Ah, yes, very, <laughs> very convincing. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm chilling. I'm fine. I uh, oh, I should add a caveat. We'll see how this goes, but I'm supposed to have a. Uh, I am on call for a work thing, so it is possible, albeit not terribly likely. That I could get a phone call and I may have to disappear for some or all of the episode. We'll just find out. And then you'll just see an ad lib. I'll just draw a picture of Joe or freeze frame him so it looks like I'm talking to him. Yeah. You can and then all that. of a sudden it'll just get really quiet. Now, in here. the funny thing is, is that <laughs> without getting too into it, but for the on call, we have a remote access so we can access the client servers and stuff. Due to some like potential vulnerabilities that were found and announced but not yet patched, they just disabled all of our access, basically. And so I don't, I can't actually do anything other than talk to them on the phone. Oh, so, so it's like I, a remote help. Right, like the most I could do would be to talk to them onto the phone. There, there's apparently, in the case of an emergency, they have a workaround, potentially, but like not an easy or fast one so we'll just have to see <laughs> but i i genuinely don't i don't expect well this bat we'll that's been out. following us the whole time is actually a bad guy who would have guessed right oh man greetings little green one that is flea she is powerful magician oh i missed an a in there for some reason i was talking like uh, ayla all of a sudden just simple. Yeah, it's old, old time. Old time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Frog speaks like a ye olden warrior. Yeah, true. Ah, battle music is good. We in space. <laughs> the frame rate's gonna hate this. Goodbye, YouTube compression. <sighs> That's what I mean. All right, I think, okay. No oh, shit, not Confuse. Confuse sucks. Did it hit us? There was a star, oh, it, it hit us, it hit us, it hit us, absolutely. <clears throat> All right, um, so I, I've i been oh yeah, I in, no mana. in the background, I've been working on stuff. What do you mean? What have you been doing? So, we're we're going uh, we're we're going classic raw talk in it. Oh no! I have prepared. That sounds terrible. I have prepared a tier list. Oh, here we go. This is a throwback. All right, hit me. What do you got? So I'm. Let me finish making the template and see if it works. Dude. I must be logged in. I think I did. Just fucking log in with Twitter. I think I've done that before. I forgot that Tier Maker makes you have an account. Yeah, now. you have to do with Twitter. And then I, it's like, oh, do you want to log in? And then I'm like, yes, I do want to log in. And then it's like, cool, we just cleared <laughs> all of your. You just. It's at the bottom of the page. You did all the work. <laughs> Everything's fucked now. <laughs> well, this will be interesting uh, because you know, your, um, your, tier, your, your tier lists are a little interesting. This one's not going to be particularly insane. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot. Um... But people We're like the unhinged. I know. I didn't go completely unhinged. Oof, we were kind of getting our ass kicked here. What was we that to, sound? We need to heal a little. Yeah, that, that should be correct. Hopefully, the one thing I can never know for sure is that it, like, sometimes the images crop really weird. So we need to make sure they're not awful. And I think we're fine. I didn't bring a good enough healer for this, and so we had to take a turn to do stuff. How much HP does this bitch have? Okay, and now, in, unfortunately, I thought you'd get, like, mouse over text with the thing, but, you know, whatever. It'll be fine. So, first off, actually, before we do that, 
I'm eating. We went to the Asian market uh, this weekend. I got mm. chestnut Kit Kats. Oh, interesting. Which, uh, lemon Kit Kats will be so coming far. out pretty soon. And then the other thing I got, I've, I've had these before, but I got, or some, I've had a similar brand, um, spicy peanuts, which you can't read that. Yeah, those are, those are pretty common. But now I really like the Ma La ones that I got, um, and I actually got a bunch more this time. I just, um, they're not open. I wanted to try these the other day. Um, but these uh, are Korean spicy chicken peanuts. And uh, anyways, I'm going to I'm going to have some of those later, too. Um, but uh, today we're going to be ranking video game biomes. Biomes. Oh, that's an interesting. Concept. And I tried to cast as wide a net as possible on this one. And I made sure that. Bro, how oh much HP does this bitch have? Lee, yeah. There we go, got I, her. That was that was a lot of HP. I made sure to. I, there's only a couple of dupes across this tier list in in terms of video game. I tried to make sure that every picture came from a different game. There's a few franchise repeats, but if you see this later. The only problem is, is I thought there'd be like mouse over text or something. So I know what the pictures mean. And if you don't know what they mean, it's going to be hard to figure it out. <laughs> well, well. Mm. Just not KitKat. Um, so let's see here. Oh, I forgot how much of a gauntlet this is. Because like you do not oh, get yeah. to heal after flea. Mm -mm. until you get back and then you can use a tent luckily these guys are pretty weak but like i forget that this is such a gauntlet flea is such a cool fight um if you don't just like try and mash your way through it if i had before we get into it i love chrono trigger it's a fantastic game it really makes you think on your feet because like of the action combat which if you've never played original final fantasy 7 and any of the like final fantasy 6 and all the original um quote unquote original um final fantasies even even nine um the game just goes it just goes you do not have a lot of time to like think about it it is very much just like you, you gotta hit it you gotta hit it so sometimes it's just like mash the attack button until it dies type thing on certain on certain fights um you gotta be careful with flea though because of the uh status ailments because she can really um Ruin your <clears throat> damn day with some of that. Oh, we got lightning too already. Let's go. All right. Now, the only thing here is I feel like I feel like I should feed these to you in a somewhat like sensible order. Well, that would be mighty appreciated. Doesn't so, OK, that's part of the chaos, right? Well, if, if I go too crazy, it'll just be weird. Like, I mean, OK, so first off, so is it is it F through A and then S, S tier? S through S through D. Okay, S through D. Got it. So, um, yeah. Okay. So we'll start with the the most obvious easy one: grasslands, fields. Grasslands and fields is a solid mid. It's just a, it you know it's even I think it's even kind of lower than mid. It's really kind of hard. Really, to do, like I really would put good. it above mid. Personally, I, I, I mean, like if there's nothing point. really happening, it's just kind of like, eh. But yeah, I mean, okay, I guess it depends. I, it depends, but like, I suppose, yeah. I'm trying to think of the ones that come to mind are, of course, Hyrule Field, and then Gower Plain, Bionis Leg from Xenoblade. Those are like the big ones. It's interesting because I think of the Calm Lands. Um, yeah, and that's that, though that's very plain, admittedly. It's very plain. So, so okay. So you're gonna put them in C? I I I think C's a good spot for it because there's nothing like really bad about them. They're just kind of there, you know. Okay. All right. Okay. So the next one is mm. gonna be desert. Interesting is because desert could be in the same kind of. Um. Ask my dog. It's just barking up a storm for some stupid <laughs> I don't understand why she's doing that. She's so loud. 
Um, yeah, I feel like desert can have the same problem. And sometimes, actually, sometimes deserts are a little worse. Um, because they usually have some kind of, like, heat element to them that is kind of annoying. Uh, we're going to take out Luca and we're going to add Robo to the party. So we're thinking Super um, Mario. Super Mario has all sorts of desert yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's either, like... So my, Breath of the my, Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Gerudo. My brain, my, my brain, of unfortunately, just goes to JRPGs or like yeah. or, or things like that. But also certain action games, a lot of the deserts have a heat thing or or whatever have you, and so they're really kind of annoying. Like at first you're like, oh, this is kind of neat, and then when you have to trek through there to do something else, to go fight a thing or whatever, mm -hmm. it gets really fucking stupid. I'm putting deserts in D tier. I mean, wow, they're. They can be really pretty, but the mechanics that usually come with them are not worth it. Okay. All right. Now, this one, we're going to go a little zany because this one's related. Okay. Hit me. Egypt lookalikes. <laughs> oh, shit. Those things all got healed. What the hell? Oh. All right. Well, the big one died. Um... That's a, that's so are we talking strictly just each, like we're talking the like, like the Super Mario 64 and, type? Yeah, where it's like this is just like you could have done a desert. Like there's interesting ways to do desert. Mm. They're like, no, we just went pyramids. Like it's its own separate thing. I mean, it adds a little bit of flavor, but it usually has the same mechanical problems as. So I I mean, I think um, like the desert as the desert aspect in Persona 5. You know, you have rivers rivers in the desert plain, and you have that whole thing, and yeah. the Sphinx is the bad guy and all that stuff. It looks cool, but it doesn't do anything really, like, fun, and, and, and sometimes they either have the same mechanic, or you have to go into the pyramid or whatever to get away from heat in certain action games. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to put them in D as well. I don't think they're really that... I think they're worse, because to me it's, like, the least creative way to implement a desert. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That's my thing. I, like I, I mean, I could, I would, I would be okay putting them below desert in a D tier. That's fine. Do we need to put? Do we need to move grasslands back up to B? <laughs> no, C is fine for grasslands. Okay. But yeah, no, I like I said for me, Egypt, Egyptian. It's like, oh, we we're gonna do a desert level. Cool. What are you gonna put in there? Pyramids. <laughs> yeah, just tombs, mummies, whatever. Oh, you know, I'm just like cool. Although, like, Gerudo Valley is pretty, pretty good because it has like a fortress, and then like you have right, an but it's, you, it, right, but you, it's you try to go to high. an oasis, that kind of thing. Yeah, oasis is cool, but it's not. There's no pyramids. Right. I think Gerudo Valley is a pretty good, pretty well done desert. But mm -hmm. then you have the annoying mechanic of finding your way through the desert. Yeah, and that does suck. Yeah. I like um. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm. Damn that. Desert, but not pyramids. Yeah, and you could still, they still have like some for, dry for shrub West. foliage and. Yeah, Forbidden West. Sorry, Zero Dawn didn't have desert. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Oh, that's a good call. Wait, no. no what am I thinking? The, um. There's the some. Karja. The there's Karja. some Karja stuff. The but Shadow Karja. Yeah. Not a ton. Ah, that's a game that does desert really, really, really well. But it's one of the only games that does it really well. Um, i trying to think. Uh, these are so fucking spicy. <laughs> I want to keep eating them, but my mouth is on fire. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Hey, look, it's a Mind Flayer. Before Mind Flayers were cool. I think he's just ugly. I mean, he probably is. Okay, what other video game deserts are there? Uh, I mean, a bunch of space games. Like, Mass Effect has desert planets and stuff. Um, does Chrono Trigger have a desert? I don't think mm, so. Not that I remember. Bravely Default had a pretty cool desert. Oh... Bravely Default Desert was all, like, wind power and stuff. I like wind... goofed. By bringing Robo? Um, he doesn't have... I need him to learn Heal Beam, and he doesn't have it yet. Well, he's got a battle to learn. We do have triple attack, our first triple um, tech. Ooh. 
Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. Just spam triple text the whole time. Ooh. So I gotta actually does any of this them. change deserts? I mean, that's just... But the problem is that's the game. The game that is in is good. Not that the, the desert is good, but the game that it's in is good. I think it can go both ways. Ah, uh, that's fair, but that's only one instant. Yeah, oh, we beat him. Wow, all right, he's a bitch. Oh, wait, no. He, he has to grab his other sword. Yeah, phase two. Crap. Uh, maybe I'm gonna die here, because I really don't have a <laughs> heal. We got potions? Uh, you would think that. But we didn't have a very good healer in the first fight, if Flea either, and we used all of our potions already. Hmm. That's true. So, we might actually have a problem here. So fucking spicy. <laughs> And stop eating them. <laughs> but they're so good. Yeah, but you're inflicting the pain yourself. I'll, I'll take a break. I'll take a break. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to have to bring Marley. Because um, I don't have enough. I just don't have enough <clears throat> healing. Yeah, we're completely out of potions, pretty much. He's actually doing all the positional stuff, too. Yep. Yep. We are... How much health does he have? He has a lot of health. If he's anything like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. wait we have Cure Beam. I, I, I didn't think we did. I'm just stupid. Okay, we might be okay. 50 to 100. That's the second lot. phase. Okay. He's a bitch. I'm gonna kick his ass. I have Cure Beam, I'm fine. As long as Next he doesn't kill Robo. biome. Uh, caves. Uh... Caves can be good. Um... My brain thinks of Pokemon and Hades Zubat, but other than that, caves can be like... I mean, Minecraft. Yeah. Caves Minecraft can be, can be a lot of these, but... Um, Caves can be fun, and the way can, usually what a lot of like RPGs do is they like to put a lot of luminescence into caves mm -hmm. and make them very stand out and pretty, so that they're not just dull and boring. My my favorite part of Dragon Age Inquisition is there's a DLC where you go deep, 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 deep caves, and the uh, mm, might I gotta drink, frog. keep drinking water when it comes on fire. In Dragon Age, the dwarves mine a rock, a rock called Lyrium, and Lyrium is like magic. It has magic stuff. It has to do with the magic of the world. Um, and they mine it, and it's like a glowy blue stone. And in this DLC, you go beneath Shit. even the dwarven kingdoms. This guy attacks so fast. Oh, we got hey. him. Let's go. Nicely done. And... Uh, what they did is they made it so that the stone grows like tendrils out of the uh, out of the ceiling of these big caverns and stuff. It's like big glowy I glass. Think slasher. Um, it's a sword. Sparkly right? stuff, which yeah, it's sort of is oh, the luminescence, baby. except instead of bio, it's like crystals and shit. All right, uh, we need to use a tent. A shelter, you mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just a different day. We might have to bring Marley for... You did fine. What's Krobo's next tech? Uh... Oh, we might be okay, actually. Yeah, we get Heal Beam next at 299. Yeah, yeah I need him. Yeah, you just I need, you him need to, to stay actually in. get it. Yeah. Because then, then we can have more variety in our healers. It's, three, it's the three party member problem. Yeah. That's why I like, um, uh, I mean, Xenoblade 3 did it. They're like, you just get six people. Unfortunately, just... unfortunately, Final Fantasy X has the problem of the three party member. So does, yep. uh, 7. 
I also like the Bravely games because there's like there are four party members. Th and there's they can only four, and you get them change jobs and what. They well, do. and they they give them to you all right away. Oh, uh, yeah, that's also true. Like Bravely one, it takes like I don't know an hour maybe at most to have the full party. Bravely, Bravely two is two, like, like thirty minutes. Yeah, and Bravely second is also like um, the second DS game. That one is. Uh, it's also like 30 or 45 minutes at most. Yeah. I need more water. Um, okay, so I like caves. I think caves can be really, really cool. I think I put caves in A. Oh. Um, mostly, I like. I also think back, like, Atelier Ryza has some really, really pretty caves. Um, there's a lot of games that have some pretty neat caves to them. I know some people can I mean, be, now, Zelda. The one problem with caves is, the is again, the mechanic of, like, if you're in some kind of RPG or some kind of, like, if you think to Pokemon, you have a, a lot of random encounters, but... Or I it's think, a maze. Or so it's some kind of time. maze. Yeah. But usually, for a lot of games, it's like, you only have to do the cave, like, once, and then they usually give you a way around it, so you get to experience it once, and it's pretty, oh. and then you don't have to go through it again. Um, I think of like the underwater diving areas in in Forbidden West. You have to go get like a mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a gleam or something or whatever yeah. whatever it is, whatever collectible you need. Um, so I, yeah. I I think caves are fine. That's probably that's probably a weird take, but I, I I don't mind caves at all. No, I mean that's that's why we're here. You know, I forgot. I also have um, this is gonna be perfect. I have that uh, from the Asian market the like the yogurt drinks. Oh yeah. I have a jug of. Are you dying? <laughs> I, it hurts. <laughs> uh, really good. But I'm going to have some mango yoga. Uh, that's funny. Aloe vera. <laughs> you just disappeared. I like, did just hear you like struggling. It, it's still really, it's like still really spicy on my tongue. <laughs> it really lingers. Okay, this yogurt drink should genuinely help. Mm. Though I do have to water it down. They're so sweet. Oh, immediate relief. Okay, so caves in A. Yeah, caves in A. All right, next. I think is it's a good be... spot for them. They deserve it. Um. Uh, jungles. Ooh. Or no, sorry, forest, and then we'll do jungle. Forest versus a jungle. Um. <clears throat> Man. Drinking the sweet thing makes me immediately want to reach for the salty thing. <laughs> That's how they <laughs> fucking get you, dude. I know. Oh, frog learned heal. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're good. We have plenty for this. Um, and that's interesting. Frog, uh, forest, forest can be done really nicely. Um, I mean, the Chrono Trigger forest ambience is really good. It is. A lot of forests, like, in in a lot of the JRPGs and stuff, have really good music. Um, oh, yeah. All the Octopath forests are incredible. Have, like, really Octopath good. is very even, good. Even, like, Ocarina of Time, the forest. The forest yeah, Kikiri Forest, like, Lost Woods. All of it's pretty good. Man, that's tough. There's a whole, like, forest person like the 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 civilization went up into the forest and the trees in uh, forbidden west um in that area what was that oh the was redwood that, is that to the, the redwood north, forest is that to the northwest that you do that like that whole area is really cool ah uh, yeah, yeah I, th I think i think forest is a really good like a really high a Oh, yeah, two. All right, high A for forests. All right, now, jungles. Um, now, here's where things will flip, because Kingdom Hearts has Tarzan as a jungle, and that level mm -hmm. is just kind of annoying. Um, it's neat, because you get to do the whole, like, uh, you get to do the Tarzan go down the vines, but then it turns mm -hmm, into mm -hmm. a mini game that just kind of miserable. Um... But they can be done really well, and they can be done really pretty, as long as they don't do a ton of, like, the verticality with the vines and shit. To oh, but see, I really like the verticality. It, okay. It can be good. It depends if, on the type of game you're If playing. the map is good. Right. 
the map has to be good. The arrow indicators of things are above you or below you or whatever, if it's that kind of game, have to be good or else it makes verticality just insanely frustrating. I, I mean, the jungle I think of is, or I guess that's forest. The other forest that comes to mind is mist. Mm, mist has a very cool forest vibe, which is actually kind of right. That's what I, I think forests are really good. Usually because you're not jumping up in the trees and stuff. Usually a jungle biome is usually Mi where you're going to Mist has you go into, like, um, it does have you go into, like, houses in the trees. If you God, I kind of want to just, like, farm this stretch because it's pretty good for experience. Um, and other ju other game jungles. Um, I mean, Minecraft has a decent jungle. Mar yeah, Minecraft jungles are actually pretty cool. Mario doesn't really... Mario doesn't really do jungles. It's one of the few things like they've done a few here and there, but that's not their like wheelhouse. Mm. I th I think they can be done well, but they're also there's there's more room for messing up with some of the mechanics. Um, like I said, the map and some of the verticality can be cool, but can get annoying. I will put jungle in a solid B tier. So not as good as forests. Not as good as forests. Okay. All right. And um, they all have the typical. Now, the one thing about forest that is kind of interesting is they all have the typical, like, using a bongo for the sound, or for the sound design or the music oh, yeah. design. They all do it. It's There's yep. not a different jungle theme of any kind. It's all Donkey Kong. Speaking of Donkey Kong, the one I have them for a picture of is underwater. Oh, God. Fuck up. And it's specifically underwater. I have coastal no, as, like, that's a That's a goddamn D for me, brother. Worse than Egypt or deserts? Oh, it's the very bottom of D. I really like there, okay. when they get when you get into like coral kind of vibes. Yes. Like beachy where there it's like are, beach adjacent. There are usually some cool I was struggling so hard to come up with a picture. I also have like beach slash coastal, I think, on here. Now that's gonna be different. Those are different. Which which now that I think about it, wait, did I mess this up? Did I not include beach? Oh, I kinda did. I should have fucking did Mario Sunshine. I was thinking so hard, and I couldn't come up with a beach one, and then fucking it. it. What's gonna? What's the problem with just adding? It? Adding it is hard on Tier Maker. Oh, <laughs> it's hard to edit. Uh, uh. Oh wait, yeah, no, I actually I can I can go back. I have. Well, we'll we'll talk about it later. We'll see if there's a difference. Anyways, um, underwater. I like when you get to get some coral reef stuff, which is kind of beach adjacent, depending on the game. But yeah, I usually consider Donkey that. Donkey Kong has you swimming through coral reefs. For the I coral consider reefs. that usually beach adjacent more than anything else, typically. Yeah, the Mario games have some coral oh, for their underwater stuff. Holy crap, <laughs> man. Oh, talking. speaking of that, we played Baldur's Gate last night. Multiplayer. Mm -hmm. We did the haunted house fight with all the ghosts. All of them? We were spread out around the house, and oh. it was on my husband's computer. Also, my husband has, he's like playing a circle of spores with lots of summons. So a bunch of shit going on, and things are being, so and much physics stuff. are being thrown at you. And everything is like, they're all invisible too, and yeah. there were so many enemies that his computer was like really having to think. And so it we counted at one point, at the worst, it was like eight minutes for a full turn. Wow. And a lot of it was just like staring at the ghosts do nothing for like 30 oh. seconds of decided okay they're not going to do anything this turn that's kind of rough brutal but um yes underwater like i said i the problem is is the swimming that's just all yeah, there is to it and that's what it is and usually it's just a it's just butt is usually just super butt all right mar like 3d mario swimming galaxy's okay they give you some good movement tools but like mario 64 swimming is miserable Mario Sunshine doesn't actually have you spend much time underwater, just a little bit. And even then, those levels are notorious for being, like, really hard. Even, even like, the, the eel dentist level in Sunshine is really hard. Or, like, can be really hard, especially for kids. Um, the, uh... Um... Obviously, I mean, Water Temple. The Water Temple isn't... You don't actually spend that much time underwater. Not really. Like it's, Water Temple is challenging. It's still really frustrating. It's it. Yeah, but but Water Temple it has you use the iron boots. It's, I guess you can still call it an underwater biome. But in that one, the control isn't really the problem because you're 
no. pretty much always walk it. Yeah, the control there, isn't the issue. It's the it's the actual like tempo. If you do it in the right order, it's fine. But the issue you're not is not allowed to make any mistakes. <laughs> knowing the right order, and if you make one mistake, you are boned. Yep. Yep. Um. <clears throat> okay, so that's underwater. I guess we'll move next. So what I have on here is I have... Well, it's a, it's a picture of Outset Island from Wind Waker. So it, island slash beach. I feel like they're close enough. They're not always exactly the same. Island slash beach? Island slash beach. Island didn't quite feel distinct enough from beach. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe so. But I think that those are usually really, really good levels. Interesting. I feel, I personally often feel Beach is overdone. What do you mean? This, this too many times? I just feel like, I don't know, I, or I guess maybe it's because they're all, they do all feel the same to as me. As long as it has Forest. something corally and has a lot of color, if it's just sand plus a, tr a couple trees and, uh, and some, like, Umbrellas, it's really boring. But they can right, be, like, they can be done super super well. I just feel like beach like a video game forest, all of them can be really distinct and different. Or That's you know true. or even even grasslands and sometimes desert, which is why Egypt got its own little separate thing, because because if you filter out all the Egypt deserts, you're left with some cool stuff. But I but think where where deserts can shine is more desert ruins. Ruins is a separate yeah, biome. Yeah, I agree. And so that's where I think more things are better, is if you if you have some kind of... I'm going back in. Um, <laughs> crazy motherfucker. Um, some kind of, like, ruins with them. Other than that... Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so beaches are, are a hit or miss. They can be really good, or they can be really bad. Um, yeah. So I think beaches... Beaches and islands can be in the B tier just because they are a toss up of if they're good or bad. Yeah. Like, Wind Waker has a pretty consistent, and admittedly, the whole game is that, right? Right. Because, I mean, and that's aesthetically, it does it very well. Right. Because that's what it's going for. Oh, you douche. Um, but, like, I think of Kingdom Hearts, you start on you start on the island, which is a pretty yeah. cool little island. It's like, oh, I mean, Besaid. Here and all that stuff. Besaid, Besaid is, Island is gorgeous. It's like half beach, it's like half, beach half jungle, depending Kilika on where you Kilika Island is also very pretty. Um, yeah, so some islands can be really well done, and others are like, ah, yes, walk on generic beach, see sand, see waves, see right. cliffside, go. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think, so... Octopath One had the coastlands, Ooh. which were like, which was like a rocky beach. Octopath One had like rocky beaches, which I liked. The um, the beach in it's kind of like a beach coral level in Xenoblade Two is really pretty as well. That would be um, Leftheria, the big floating jellyfish islands. Yes, with the with little like sandy pools in each of them. Yeah, that place is pretty cool. Yeah, that one was really, really well done. Yeah, um, like I said, there I really like... a specific way we're supposed to go to get everything? I believe... Uh, well, I believe a bunch of these save points are fake. Yeah, I know. And they like... But I believe what you're supposed to do is, like, he has trapdoors. And you just have to dodge his trapdoors. Like, it's just trial and error. I think. Um... Um, is this a fake save it point? It says... This is not a fake save point. This is an actual save point. Okay, so magic tab... That's a fake save point. Yes, and they, like, you fight them or something, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the, these fake save points give really good experience and are not actually really dangerous at all. Yeah, 432 experience. <laughs> yeah. For something that doesn't really hack you. Um, actually, yes. I'm going to... 
you I mean if you basically if you step on the wrong spot he has more trapdoors yeah so oh. ah but it looks like they change each time looks like mm. the bat the bad one changes each time okay yeah because I want to fight them so I can get the experience yeah um okay so I was also thinking about it some grasslands can be really cool. So, like Final Fantasy XIII, the, when you get down to the, archi the, the archipelago, like grasslands, giant area, it looks really mm -hmm. pretty because there's like waterfalls in the distance, and so it's all grassland. But again, it, it has the same kind of problem with the beach, where if it's done really well, it's done really well. But if it's done poorly, it's just like, ah, oh, yes, grass. Right. <clears throat> like I said, I mean, Xenoblade hits you with. The Bionis Leg, which has Gaur plan planes in it and stuff, and it's like the, the most iconic theme of the game. Well, I mean, Gorma is also would count as Grasslands oh, from Xenoblade yeah, Two. That's true. Um, but they hit you with the big music, and there's beautiful landscapes in the diff distance, and yeah. but again, if it's done boringly, it's just kind of like there's ah. nothing. Hyrule Field, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it's just like... terrible. It sucks. It's like there's nothing in <laughs> Hyrule Field. I mean, to, also, though, to be fair, Twilight Princess has the same thing. While that game is really fun and pretty, the, the middle grasslands area is just kind of... And, yeah, Hyrule Field's even bigger in Twilight Princess. Also. And... Just... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, grasslands deserves a C. Yeah, Hy it's a base level. Okay, so then... Um, beach is the very bottom islands. of B tier, though. Bottom of B, okay. Yep. Islands and islands and beach is the bottom of B, I think. I okay. think it's a solid spot for it. Next we have Icy Snowy. Ooh. So this this has the same issue as the, as the desert, where usually there's some kind of slippy slidey ice physics. mechanic or cold mechanic. Like if you think of um, Monster Hunter, you have to have the fire drink. If you, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And I think that while it can add to the immersion to have some kind of, um, hot, you know, hostile environment condition or some kind of mechanic like that, again, after a while, just gets a bit old to make sure I have the warm clothing on or to make sure I had my fire yeah. drink J Jaden when I watch him play Tears of the Kingdom every time he gets cold he's like ugh and then puts on the cold weather armor yeah. and like I get it if you spend a lot of time and you're just doing it once then it's fine but when you're especially if you're in and out or anything I will say this I think snow levels are fine also I'll say hot take I actually like ice block slidey puzzles I, they get, they get, they're a classic I get they're, bored I like them. If it's a good, it has to be like an actually kind of challenging one, though. If it's an easy one where it's just like you look at it and you're like, oh, I got it. And you just immediately do it. <laughs> but if it's one of the ones where you're like, how the hell um, am I going to get this block there? You know, how is that going to work? World of Final Fantasy has a pretty good icy cave level and icy grounds. You have the, you know, the, the yeah. snow cottage, the inn in the distance. And... Oh, and I like, I mean, I also like the, the Pokemon version of the slidey block puzzle where you're not sliding a block around, you're sliding yourself around. Yeah. I think those are really fun too. I actually really like the Pokemon ones. Um, But again, the mechanic of I'm cold or whatever, it gets a bit, it's the same thing with the heat. It just, it gets a bit old. And it's really hard to make a bunch of white snow look now some, interesting. Yeah, some games don't do the cold mechanic. True, they um, don't. Uh, Zenob I mean, think about the messenger. You got yeah. the whole snowy mountains. Now, if there's snowy <laughs> level or snowy mountains level, snowy mountains, mountains can be... Mountains is separate. Okay, all right. If it's just like a snow plains, I think it's a solid D. It's just, I, a, just a D. I really like... Um, the it's Xenoblade One has a snow area, and the thing that makes it special is at night there are these crystals everywhere, and at night the crystals all glow with like beams into the sky, which looks very pretty. So it'll be during the daytime it'll be like blizzardy and snowing, and it sort of obscures everything, and then at night it gets clear and there are just like beams of light everywhere. Very cool. 
Yeah, but that, I mean, um, that has to be per game basis, right? Yeah, exactly. That's always just the the how you implement it. But yeah, I agree. If you if you have any sort of like cold weather mechanic, it's <clears throat> not going to be great. Um. Okay, next is gonna be. Um. Uh. We'll just do mountains. Um, mountains can mountains are usually doesn't have to be snowy, but often are. But doesn't. Yeah, happen. I mean, usually it starts off not and having a lot of like lush vegetation and and such, and then gets snowy as you go towards the top. Um, yeah. Horizon games do mountains extremely well. Yeah. Um, a lot of Pokemon mountains are actually pretty pretty neat because you find all of the cool Pokemon on the mountain. If you think of yeah, um, Mount Gagazet is a really cool, and then going through it. Um, to get to Xanarkin on the other side. Like, a lot of mountains are done. Really My, the picture I have is Skyrim, of course. Oh, yeah. Because that first mountain. And then, yeah, you go to go, you get to go up to the... With the trolls. And yeah, usually there's really interesting monsters in mountains. Um, yep. I really, uh, the other one I really like was, um, I'm putting the peanuts away. They're very good, but I'm putting them away. Um, uh, Octopath 1 has the region called the Cliftlands, and they are like mountain passes. So like you're not all the way up the mountain. It's like almost actually, if you think of Link's Awakening, like Tal Tal Heights and stuff, where it's just like uh, cliffs and valleys and passages and passes. Ooh. And so I really like that aesthetic. It's also one of my favorite musics. Yeah, on the fine. downside, sometimes traversing mountains can get a bit long, depending on where or what game it is, um, and the elevation changes and such. Most of the time, they do it. Most games pretty well, but sometimes it can get a little tedious. Well, but then the, you can also have the opposite problem where it's like this is the tallest mountain. Yeah, and then you the, scale then it in two seconds. It literally takes you like a minute and a half, and you're like, okay, well that was nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Because that problem I have, I, I mean, obviously every video game shrinks its worlds, especially vertically. It's always shrunk vertically, but yeah, it's mountains in particular. It's like, okay, that took no time at all <laughs> to get to the top of that mountain. Um, but yeah, I like, I really like mountains. I agree. I think they, there's a lot of room there too of like, what kind of monsters are you going to find there? It's like, oh, it's a desert. Oh, there's going to be snakes. <laughs> yeah. You know? bugs oh uh, you know or you're gonna giant be worm it's an island oh there's gonna be like fish and there's gonna be like crabs or whatever but mountains it's like what are you gonna get and it's like you get like some weird flying monsters you, you get, get some like weird goats light. octopath does lots of goats and rams and octopath one the mountain region has ra there's like rat rat kin rat people and then there's also like uh um like yaks and goats and uh, birds and... Hey, Cindy. Oh, How are you, darling? Hello. So, yeah, so those games have... Like I said, I feel like, again, you have a lot more leeway to do interesting things. Yeah. Whereas the other ones, it's like, yeah, I, I know it, it's a grassland. So there's going to be deer. There's going to be wolves. There's going to be... <laughs> you know... You know what you're getting. Whereas, Generic yeah. enemy A slimes right. or whatever, right? Right. We're doing fine. We're doing. We're not doing too bad. Um, we're discussing yep. video game biomes at the moment. And we're running out of the basic ones. For the um, I would put mountains in a high A, probably underneath wow. forest. They are very good. Okay. Above caves, below forest. Above caves. Above caves. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Next we have. Swamp. Mm, now this is interesting because sometimes this is the one where the mechanic gets to me. It's like, oh, don't do you like moving slower than yeah, normal? Yeah. But also, swamps are cool. Some swamps are pretty damn cool. A lot of times, swamps are gonna have mushroom stuff going on. And I think that's how they kind of get you, is they offset it with like, oh, you're gonna be moving slow. <clears throat> Too bad this place is awesome. Yeah, Messenger and Sea of Stars do mushrooms, and a lot of games do mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the Sea of Stars um, entire swamp area is just so damn good. The 
the picture I have is Link's Awakening, Gaponga Swamp, which is like thorns and big like carnivorous plants is how Link's Awakening does it. I do like that vibe. Yeah, that's but, it's, it's a good vibe. But then I think about Pokemon X and the like, oh, you're walking through slow mud and then also you get stuck sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And that's the only thing it does and it just kind of sucks. But then also Goomy's there. So, you yeah, know. Goomy's are there. I think it depends on how bad the mechanic can wear you down. Um, but sometimes they are really cool and you get to you get to mix in a lot of different vegetation. Usually <clears throat> there's really interesting monsters for the most part if you're playing those kind of games. Malboros. Yeah. Um, what does Horizon do? Horizon has some swampy stuff. Um, Actually, that was... Yeah, you get into it with the... Like, the wetland in Forbidden West. The the lowland... Mm -hmm. um, Tanakt. Uh, and well, like, it's kind of like a little bit but of... But I will admit... Bit of yeah, I will admit that I actually was a little unimpressed by the, the lowland swamp area of the Tanakh stuff. Um, I, I still think that, I, I think really because I don't like being slowed down in video games. It's just kind of an annoying thing sometimes. Right. Um, I, I think, unfortunately, swamps deserve a C tier. Above or below grasslands? Probably above grasslands because... Even though the like the the swamp the, or the heat and the cold mechanic <clears throat> is like yeah that really sucks You're, but like being slowed down, you is... are guaranteed to get something interesting with. Um, oh my speed goes off the why is it why is it two stars? That means it's maxed out, <sighs> I think, right? Or it's like maxed out for your level or something, oh, which is why you don't want to give speed taps to Chrono because he's fine. He doesn't need them. Yeah. Yeah. Give him. Give. Give your speed tabs to Robo because he's the one who needs <laughs> so to go. So damn slow. Man. Right. Exactly. Make him. What if Robo could be as fast? So, oh, you don't have any. I don't have make, any. We've you only can gotten, make him as fast we've only as uh, one. I mean. Yeah. You can make him as fast as Chrono. That'd be great. Um. Okay. Next now, this is. This whole area is such a gauntlet. Yeah. Uh. Next we've got. Lava. Ooh. Lava oh, slash man. volcano. Usually inside a volcano. Again, has the problem with the heat element. Like, let's think Yeah, of, but if there was a place where... Let's think of the red tunic specifically in terms of, like, Death Mountain and stuff. Yeah, but that's but not damn. even a bad mechanic because it's literally just get... Just get the one piece of gear you need and you're fine. Right. So here's where I'm going to be a little slightly... Um... For the record, you have not put any in S yet. I know. I'm just going to throw that out this there. This is where I'm going to be slightly slightly hypocritical, or hypocritical because um, the thing with volcanoes is usually for most places, you only have to visit them one time. In a lot of games, you go to the volcano like once, and you only have to do mechanic like once. Also, if you think of, um, let's think of uh, Monster Hunter, and you didn't play Rise, but specifically in Rise, there's like this, the Elder Dragon area, there's a volcano in mm -hmm. the center of the area and you can go down and then like you can push a monster in and a lava will erupt like you can hurt them and it's a really cool area so on but also fuck tiastra yeah fuck tiastra so much <laughs> um this is the one time where the mechanic doesn't actually bother me as much because it's usually i only go in one very similar to the cave where i'm only going once and it's usually like really pretty because it'll have the lava and the explosions and then it'll have a cave subdivision where the lava has cooled and there's a lot of like really cool formations of rock or something of the sort. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about... So I think about like Skyward Sword, which is nice because it's like... They have a couple sections where it's like you can only be here for a few seconds and it's like short, so you're meant to be... It's meant to be very fast. So yeah. You don't spend a lot of time there. And then once you get... Eventually, you just get a magic earring, and then you just never have to worry about it again. Right. Where um, they give you, or like the red tunic, where it's like you have limited time, but once you have the red tunic, you just literally never need to worry about it again. So I actually really enjoy volcano levels for the most part, um, because they're usually the prettiest with all the lava and all the, all the materials going everywhere. And then, as I said, you get the, the cooled area. It's like on the back side of the volcano, usually near like a pond of water or something. So you can get these really cool like 
two different effects with volcanoes into if they're done super super well i mean yeah oh, and then yeah um both both horizon dlcs involved lava because horizon zero dawn it was yellowstone and then forbidden west it was hollywood full of lava and like both of them wind up being really cool yeah i i <clears throat> do for some reason just because it's usually <clears throat> a one and done thing it's not a constant environmental tech. I'm usually pretty okay with, with... It's very often the end of the game. Yeah, I'm usually pretty okay with volcanoes, so I actually... Yeah. Here. Volcanoes are an S tier. The... Uh, oh, Super Mario Sunshine, the volcano is just, like, literally, it's the final gauntlet. It's just, like, it's the end game. There's no other lava in the game. It's just the final boss. Yep. Or Bowser Castles in general. Yep. They're usually, like, a one and done. That's the end. That's the mechanic. Sometimes yeah. you don't have the heat mechanic at all, so that can be usually pretty fine. So I like volcanoes. I think volcanoes are a big. And usually there's a lot of epic music coming up to the boss fight as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I like them. I think they're a solid S. All right. Okay. I think we're officially running out of the, like the vanilla strict, ones? of the strictly normal ones. The there's a couple. Ones. I guess we'll do. Um, uh, cities. And we'll stay for this one, like, modern cities. Not, like, futuristic and not... Oh. And not, like, old-timey. We're talking just, like, the picture I have is Spider-Man 2. Um, Damn. Just, so... like, cities. And, yeah. Not a ton of games do just, like, straight-up cities admittedly I, I i think of marvel spider-man 2 i yeah i think of the, the rundown cities and zero dawn yeah um some apocalypse like cities and stuff last of us last of us there's there's some good cities man oh this is i think city has to be an s tier environment because if usually they're done like really well, I think of um, Devil May I wonder, Cry has I wonder some interesting what affliction cities. of the mind that one must have been suffering from. That's I love, funny. I love um, oh crap! That's not I want to save. That was a hell of a gauntlet. Do we want to save? Um, and shelter. Uh, uh we're, yeah. we're actually doing kind of okay. I mean, you have plenty of shelters, though. Um, I always, when I played this game, I had so many shelters at the end of the game. Because I, I just didn't ever use them. I mean, I guess we do have 12. It will, it'll, yeah. it'll you, the, do my MP more than anything else. Yeah, exactly. And you, you literally can't overuse them because you don't get to use them very often. <laughs> That's um, why I like them. Yeah, uh, cities can be done really well. They can also be done kind of boring. The the one the way that it can go poorly for me is when they feel like they're too restricting. Yeah. Like it's too hard to get around yeah. because I can't just freely go wherever. Um, I can I can I can get that feeling for sure. I which, understand that. Which like Last of Us Two has a section that kind of feels like that where it's like it feels like oh there's so much so many places to go and there are but, but... there are but there are definitely it's like oh can't go that way roadblock oh can't go that way there's bad guys they'll spot us oh can't go that way there's a whatever and it's and it does feel like it's trying to keep me on rails when in fact a city in a certain sense should have lots of different directions to go Okay. I. By the way, you should probably. Hold on, we gotta. Read, we gotta cut scene. You should probably read the Magus text because he, this is the better translation. God, those are definitely not Dragon Ball sounds. It's 
It's a very loud sword. It was a really loud sword. Doof, 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 doof. The emblem on the ground looks so good. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Magus. Oh, that frog of so many days ago. How have you fared since we last met? Ah, oh, this form has been a blessing in disguise. Without it, I never would have been to defeat you! Oh, so close. There are things I had never obtained. Man. Not predictable. Good job, game. Masamune. <laughs> then you've come for me! <laughs> that uh, reminds me of um, <clears throat> Symphony of the Night. I don't know if you've ever played, but Castlevania Symphony of the Night, there's a whole thing in the beginning where... Um... Ooh, the bitter black winds begin to howl. Very well! Come, if it is death you seek! This definitely reminds me of the Castlevania Symphony Night thing. Um, where it's... I can pause it with this. Uh, Dracula and... I think it's Victor or Simon are talking, and it's just like this whole like epic conversation in Symphony of the Night where it just tech boxes. But it's like the most epic thing, and a buddy of mine would always kind of act it out. Because <laughs> it is supposed to be pretty epic of what's happening. So... Yeah, I really... <sighs> they definitely built to the Magus fight really, really well. Mm. It's very fun. And the whole gauntlet with all... So it's just so... It's so Absorbs takes so long to get there. Water. This fight is... Uh... He's got 6666 health. Yeah, he's a... He's a... He's an interesting fight, for sure. Okay, so we're putting cities in S tier. Yeah, cities are really good. Like specifically, if we really want to call it a game, it, uh, Spider Man does. It's a yeah, fun. They, it drama. solves all the traversal problems for sure. Um, Phenomenal. And then like Horizon, when you're in the big city type environments, you're not really meant to go up and about. It's uh, really just about aesthetic. Right, I gotta slow it down. Cause I'm gonna die here. I actually did die here because I was just not paying attention and just smacking him when he was absorbing <clears> stuff. <throat> yep, we died. I forget you actually have to pay attention to this fight. You can't just like herp derp it. Yep, we're dead. Oh, it's been so long since I've done this fight. Oh, we're not dead. You're not dead yet. Let's go, frog. This might not be a, a, a boss fight I could actually talk through, just because it's... I mean, if you need to, you can always go wait mode. This is wait mode, brother. Oh. Yeah, there's not a, not a lot changes with wait mode. It only changes when you're in a tech or in an item. When you're in the menus? Yep. Mm. So some of the time it will just sit there. I need Athenia water, and then I need to immediately heal. Hopefully we can get the heal off, and then we can get another heal off, and I could be better now. So he's on water right now, I believe. Yeah, he's still on water, so Robo should be doing more healing. Um, so, because Frog he, needs to hit him with the water. the heal from Frog is Oh, it's still single target. So much. The heal from Frog is, is way better. Yeah. Do you have, is there like a, does, I can't remember, does this game have like a heal everybody potion? Uh, I don't remember, but I have heal, so we're okay. Well, we're I know, we're we better can. now. Okay, we're on water. It was, it just sent me back a turn, we're fine. So we're on water. Um, we can you do... You hit him with water, yeah. We can do sword stream. Because it's a water move. Got him. Okay. Now he's going to do shadow. So we have a uh, laser spin. Yes. Or robo tackle, I think, maybe is also shadow. I can't remember. <clears throat> All but light. And now we have chrono fix. Interesting. They call lightning light. Mm -hmm. That's kind of 
Ooh, Which is... Gotta get your butt kicked there, buddy. Do lightning two. And we'll go ahead and have you do a cure beam on the frog, because the frog is a little, a little worse for wear here. Admittedly, that's what I think in the older Fire Emblem games, they differentiated between they you had lightning and then you had which was actually like light magic and then you had thunder and thunder was like electric or whatever um we're going to do the sword stream again and we're going to cure beam oh is he back on water mm -hmm. yep mm. he just hit us with an ice move so mm. oh right it's always just whatever his last one was and then he hit us with water again <laughs> might need to frog heal just because all just party keeping... members are a little low. I wish he was back to shadow because that's a single target. Yeah. Gonna heal. <sighs> okay. And then to you, oh, you know what you sh what you should have done in retrospect. This is probably the the tech. What's up? You bring Luca because at this point you've had the opportunity to get the fire vests that just reduce fire damage. And he's like, he's not ever going to do a fire move because you wouldn't be able to do oh, it. Oh, shit. Right? What's he on? Lowers his guard to cast a spell. So triple tech. Oh. I didn't. I was. I looked over. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. I mean, that was a thousand damage, so yeah, it was, was worth it. Lot. Even even if somebody dies, I think it was worth it. <laughs> um, really? But yeah, because you have an opportunity to get multiple copies of the red vest or whatever, it feels like actually the key thing would be to bring Frog, Chrono, and Luca because everybody can wear the red vest or whatever it's called I'm and take half. Whenever he does his fire attacks, you can just sit and take the fire attacks over and over because you'll be taking less damage. Um, we are going to heal after this. We might just throw a punch in. I mean, you've already done, just from the two triple attacks, you've done 2k damage, yep. which is a third of his health, not to mention all the damage you've done elsewise. Um, we're going to cure beam the frog, because we have to keep frog alive, because he is the heal. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just swing, because <clears throat> Bruno's speed is very fast, so the attack will be back up by the time anyway. Yep. So I think we, we can afford one more, we can afford a triple attack. Uh, there's 3,000. Actually, we can afford one more triple attack before he actually attacks me, just because of my speed. There's 4k, oh, we did it, we did him. Nicely Ooh. done! Had a little bit of a rough start because I forgot about the fight. <laughs> Your skill with the Masuni is that great already? Large-scale energy reaction detected. Could it be Lavos? Oh, maybe it could be... No, he mustn't awaken from his slumber yet. I do know, according to the records, Lavos was created here at this precise moment. I bet you summoned him. He has dwelt within the Earth for eons. Aeons? Eons? I call it aeons. Because I say of, eons, but... Because of Final Fantasy and Aeons, but it should be eons, I'm pretty sure. Azorian land's energy and growing ever stronger. It appears my data was incorrect. What is this energy in the air? I'm detecting the emergence of a gate of theoretically improbable proportions. If you had not interfered, an enormous gravity sink is forming. Whoa! Everything's going blurry. 
the fucking effect is weird. <laughs> that is very strange. But now it's time for best part of the game. Chrono. Chrono. Soon, anyways. Chrono, are you still sleeping? I don't know, am I? I mean, you'll be late for work. She just called me honey. Chrono, oh, we can't keep asking my father for help. You need to hold down a job. Chrono, why are you a deadbeat? Can't be a deadbeat to Marley. <clears throat> Chrono awake? We are currently... Anyone want to see Chrono? Go Mystic Mountain. You there. Fall down hurt. The carry back hut. Big frog oh. present for Ela Eat. Perish the thought. The pale faced man in the cape, was he not with us? No, we'll only find you. Cape one more tasty? I love Ayla. <laughs> She's like my favorite. <laughs> but if Maddox did not create Lavos, then what era did it originate? Lavos, you no worry. Now, you rest hurt bad. She's great. Um. She's just <clears throat> Bianca. I forgot, this is not the best part of the game. We're not there yet. Um, okay, more biomes. Let's do, okay. we did city. Let's do, Okay, we'll do. We're, we're gonna do all the city adjacent ones as well. So next we've got like medieval specifically. Uh, we are fully healed, so we're okay. Medieval. Yeah. Are we talking just like a bunch of castles and and all that stuff? Yeah, like castles, knights, uh, you know, <sighs> peasant towns. You should swap your characters around. Um, I want Robo to learn heal beam first. Okay, fair enough. Well, then drop frog for a bit. We're done with frogs. Uh, like story. I think we actually are <clears throat> kind of done. Uh, twelve to learn aerial strike, and then I'll. Oh, okay, yeah. And then, I'll, and then I'll ditch him. Admittedly, I don't know if I've seen frog in the like cutscene to come. About uh. I don't know if I've I've seen frog in the in the stuff that's coming up. So maybe it would be fun to have Frog around and switch afterwards. <clears throat> Tights kill all. Try to stop. What do now? But yes, medieval. So we're talking, we're talking, you know, stone and dirt buildings and mud roads and, you know, um, everything's dirty and that kind of situation. People fight, reptites kill all. Delicious. This is your fault. Look at village. How dare you talk to her that way? Ayla saw. Ayla alive. Ayla fight. Win, live, lose, die. That rule. No change rule. No can change rule. Old man breathe, but dead inside. Damn, get him, Ayla, get him, get him. <laughs> Ayla's strong, so make big talk. We not strong. Get more strong. Need Dactyl, give Dactyl. Dactyl? Go Tyranno Lair, Tyranno Lair, Reptile Castle, danger, even Ayla danger. Ayla want die? God, this is fucking, oh, it's so good. The writing is just funny. I, it's it's funny because they had to like they're like we have to do caveman talk but mm -hmm. then also we 
we have to make it interesting. Yeah, like and also portray still, like, the story. Well, and also make it like intelligible. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So... Hot take. Hot take. I we're gonna be able to take Ayla for this stuff. I think. I don't think you can take her now. No, but yeah. like, don't. Oh, I like Ayla. I know, but like, let's take Ayla to a section that she's normally we normally wouldn't see her in but i like ayla. she punched like punch take me. her take her to zeal that's where i want to see ayla right. um okay uh, uh medi so medieval hmm. hot take i think medieval is is just so overdone and most recently because i can think of nothing but like the dark soul style that dark yep. gothic style i'm so fucking tired of seeing it um even when i played final fantasy 16 there's some like very pretty gigantic gorgeous castles and i was just yep. kind of like that do be a castle yeah it's like yeah i i i, I completely get it you know it's like which is weird some... because cities can be done so differently. They can be bright and vibrant. They can be dark and gloomy. They can be all these things where a castle, whether you light it nicely and make it look smooth or it's old and rustic, it looks like a it's, fucking castle. It's that very, like, posh. Yeah, it's that, like, everything's filigreed. Everything's, go you know, like, Hyrule Castle. Wait, like, I li like, I like Hyrule Castle and stuff. Don't get me wrong. But, like, it's fucking mid. It is a... That being said, they are they can be pretty to look at, but they do just kind of get. So it sounds like C tier. It is a C tier. At... It's a big okay. C tier. All right. Um, next one again, city adjacent. So this one I just have I had it labeled as like old timey town, but that's oh. not super clear. I like a, specific... like a western town. Is that what you're talking? No, about? I well I do also have old west. We can do oh. old west first. Um, I, uh, again, well, the problem with the Old West stuff is it's just so overdone. It's everything is this, similar to your beach argument. There's um, one, there's only one way to do Old West. Yeah, it, it, it is just, just is what it is. So like, yeah, it's fine when you go there, but after a while you're like, yeah, all right. The, the picture I used was from Octopath 2. And the only specific reason I did that was because Octopath 2 has for their old west town rather than putting their old west in like strictly like a desert or a or a, a, a something like that they went with badlands so it's more like mesas and like it's it's american southwest um canyons and stuff which i thought was more interesting than just it's flat and desert everywhere yeah but then um, again, but the overall aesthetic, it's thing. just it's just the same. Yeah, it's just exactly the same. It, the, their old west was like trains and you know stuff like that. So like, yeah, it was neat. I liked it, but also yeah, meh, meh. It's it's a solid fine, and I'll just put it in like the end of C tier basically. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's like it, it, there's usually no mechanics that are terrible, and and you know even games that are around like the old west style of game is they're usually pretty enjoyable games. It's just the aesthetic is usually pretty dry. It's always that like everything's so fucking brown. That aesthetic just yeah. comes with the thing, and like it just yeah. after a while gets a bit. Yeah, that's what like I said. That's why like the. For Octopath is yeah everything was like more it was that like red soil that red which is just a little more colorful a little more friendly to look at mm -hmm. um, than just like yeah brown desert sand dirt okay um, next like I said this one I had old timey town and this one the picture I have was from Sea of Stars is the port town of Brisk port town Oh. But this is like old timey towns with markets and stuff. Oh, You've I got... usually like them because they're usually really vibrant, right? And really. I'm pretty. trying to think of other examples. I mean, Sea Stars a... is a really good example. There's not a ton. I can think um, Kilika Port. In, yeah. And Final Fantasy X is like that because it's like set up as this like port town. There's straw huts and everyone's running around on the on the thing and you know that's a whole 
you've got like um uh this is funny uh, you have like rogue port um from paper mario thousand year door oh yeah, 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 yeah which yeah. i actually have a picture of thousand year door in rogue port for a different one but we'll get to that um, um i yeah, like th- i like the like marketing which is admittedly that's also a port town now that i think about it yeah it is um, usually they are more vibrant, more cheerful, more more colorful type towns with really upbeat and fun music. Yeah, um, let's see. What about in... Octopath 2, the desert town is as the casino and that kind of thing. You mean Bravely 2? Or Bravely Default 2, not Octopath 2. Yes, Bravely 2, it's like a desert version of the same idea. Yeah, I think those are really cool. I like those. They usually have really fun... Yeah, does o- Octopath... I mean, Octopath 1... Like, all the towns are old-timey towns, basically, because of the time period that Octopath 1 takes place in. Um, so, yeah. What do you, what do you got? Um, I'm going to put them... I really think it's like the port town in Sea of Stars is so fucking... Not only the port town, but the, the town that you build... Is all so they're all good. Yes, mirth, mirth. Yeah, it's like again, that's like a forest version of the same idea, cabins and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put it in bottom of A because there's not a lot of examples. The examples we have are good, but there's just not a lot of. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like, no, it's a sense. hard, it's a hard niche to fill. Okay. The next town adjacent one is going to be, um, like, uh, I have, you could call it like cyberpunk or future city. So we've got so a futuristic s city. You've got cyberpunk. You've got astral chain. Um, the astral chain is the. Oh, we have to used. take Ayla with us. Oh, wow. Okay. She is required. Then who would be someone who we may not normally take here? Um, Take the two blonde ladies. We haven't used her in a while. Don't want her to Marley, be yeah. Blind. And That's Ayla, true. Ayla doesn't have any healing other than kiss. No, she has I kiss. Think. She has kiss. Yeah, it's not great, though. Not great, though. We'll take Marley, I think. It's probably better. Okay. Do we get the cutscene here with the flying pterodactyls? The big thing is once we have the ability to take Chrono out of the party. It does help. Di- yeah, we do we get the cutscene for the flying pterodactyls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if you'd seen these. We, I didn't think we'd played a version that had uh-huh. this stuff. I own oh, the, the PlayStation. PlayStation one. Yeah, the one I borrowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I love Akira Toriyama's art when it comes to dinosaurs. He just does dinosaurs super well. Yeah, I, I still. I, Hold on, this is really loud really cutscene. It's so loud. Oh, yeah, I had a few It's very loud. <laughs> Alright, Oh, sorry. that's the Reptite Castle mm-hmm. that we were yeah. saying there. And anyway, even if you take somebody, it only shows a- that shows the two guaranteed party members. It will never show the third party member. Right. Because it's just all pretty much. Oh, yeah, now we can fly. Um, yeah, I still actually don't know why there are dinosaurs in dragon ball uh i never, my never, wife never... asked the same question i don't know why it it's on is... earth right it's like earth earth yeah it's like earth yeah like well i guess it's earth but they don't go anywhere that's real yeah correct but yeah, but yeah like you see north city west city south city <laughs> that's like really yeah. wow yeah, that's those, actually those are the names. hilarious and there's like a couple different places uh wait should you be don't go with do, is there something you should be like going to get at this oh, point i don't i can't remember it's a good time to save though um it is a good time to save uh oh there's a there's a little thing right here oh what level are you 25 okay i don't this oh chrono is 26 this one called out it might be time to go do specchio and also you could take ala with you to do specchio so it might be worth it might be worth jumping into the mountain or whatever where the portal is. Should just because I spec go. Yeah, you don't want to miss the reward. And also, like Ayla's really good. <laughs> she is really strong. So you may as well. Um. 
Um, so, futuristic. So, interesting point, because I, I like modern cities, because I think they look good, and then you could do the ruined modern city. But I think it's really hard to do a really good-looking cyberpunk-esque city, because usually it's just either, either overblown with neon lights, or it's really, really dark and gloomy and mysterious, and so it, Ad like... Admittedly, Astral Chain is very in your face. <clears throat> but also, one of these days, if nothing else, you just need to, like, watch a video or two or something of people playing Astral Chain. That game's really good. <laughs> um, it's so weird and cool and fun. I mean, thinking of Cyberpunk, which I, I never finished because it just constantly... But you did play it, yeah. I played a little bit of it, and it just constantly crashed on me, so I just mm. stopped playing it. Now it's all fixed. But I, I just don't have the, like... I don't have the want to go back. It was fun when I played it, but I haven't had the want to go back yet. Um, but it does a really cool... It has both parts of a, of a futuristic cyberpunk city. It has the dark and gringy, like, right. where the mob boss people are, but it also has this very bright and neon and fun and colorful, and it has this, like, business area. It has, like, the, you know, the risque yeah, area. It, it does It does cyberpunk stuff very well. That's, I mean, Astral Chain's the same. Like, you go to a shopping mall at one point. You go to just, like, residential areas at one point, which are a little more chill. You go to, you know, um, in, or, like, <clears throat> not industrial. Um, no, you go to industrial areas. You go to, like, business areas. Again, you, you get to see the whole bit of the city, um, which is really cool. I should be able to beat him now. I, I would have, think so. You get quite a, a few levels. Oh, my lord. He does a lot of damage. Yeah. But he did... Oh, you missed... Yeah, I missed. Oh, I missed so damage. Maybe you, you. How much? Know it. How much health does he have? Uh, do I still have the Specchio page open? Because I don't think I do. <laughs> Are you supposed to be hitting it with magic? Like, what's going on here? I don't know, man. Yeah, you're missing literally everything. I can try magic and see if that does a difference. Because if that's the case, I have to switch out Ayla. Yeah, but this this guide specifically was like you can take Ayla. Damn man, damn, I'm just missing left and right. There you go. He's got twenty two hundred HP, which is not that much. No, but I'm not hitting him either. Yeah. Um I'm gonna cure and we're gonna can we give ourselves a kiss? I think we can, right? His stats are basically the same always. Yeah, his stats are the same always, except he gains more HP. So there's not any, like, special trick where this yeah. form is different than the previous one. I don't know what's happening, really, I'll be honest. Just keep missing, man. What in the heck is happening? Ooh, that might kill my Corona. Shit. I don't even see I think this might just be bad luck a little bit here. Yeah, because I don't even see... I don't know how enemies have, like, accuracy. They have defense. They the have bad defeat. attack miss, too. Marley on? should be the one who should be hitting with regular attacks on the grounds that she... Huh. She has, uh... Dex is, like, her thing. That was weird. So, yeah, maybe just try again and see what happens. Make sure your equipment's good, I guess. It is. Marley oh, may oh, actually not be. Marley might not be specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I gave her the mist robe, so we're good there. And she has double evasion right now, so I really don't. Oh, what? I can oh. give her a mist robe and increase her by a decent amount. Um, I can increase. I can use fire damage defense. He's hitting you with magic, more so than he's hitting you with physical. What um, is what instead of the rage band? You know the counterattacks are hitting. That's the problem. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe Ayla should wear it then. Uh, do I? Does Ayla her speed so she attacks more? I get. What if Ayla had the? What if I just make it so that I just have her have the berserker ring and then? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh, you would be doing your kicks or whatever, which are good, but like. I could just have her berserker ring. And I only have to control the other two. I might switch yeah. out Frog though, because Frog can multi heal. But Cure well, see... Cure is a single target heals everything all at once. See what happens with the berserker ring now. Yeah, we'll try this. That way she just goes, and then I can flex with the other two. 
Yeah. Well, you can. We can't flex with Chrono. Well, I mean, I just like flex on what I'm doing with that. Oh yeah. Because I can just like I can try lightning and see if lightning hits. Like yeah, that that missed. Yo, your counterattack. Oh, the rage. I might, I might actually hit. have to put the speed ring on, on Marley because she's a little slow. She's the one who also needs your speed tabs. <laughs> Yeah, like oh, Prono's just down. Wow, oh, what I the can, heck? I didn't know there was an auto battle. Oh. What? A fast forward? Well is it auto or is it just they just attack? No, it's just it's else. just auto, it just attacks. Okay. I need to put the speed ring on Marley because she she did not do anything. She... And the Berserker ring didn't do anything either. I think if anything, you need to go all magic. Seems weak, but yeah, maybe he, so. Only 2200 health. That's as we said, it's like 10 magic attacks. With the rate that you're doing damage. So if you did, yeah, it's weird that this guide was like, yeah, and make sure and take Ayla here. She'll be helpful. Um. Yeah, that's weird. I don't, rem I don't, I don't remember him having that. Oh, Is there anything that boosts? Oh, it literally just says like. What's stamina? I don't know what stamina is. And give her a ribbon, and then give her the speed belt. Give her speed up to like some amount. Oh, I think. Oh, I see. Stamina is to defense what strength is to attack. Strength boosts your attack indirectly. Your attack stat also accounts for your weapon. Right, we'll try this setup. Maybe this will work. Maybe Ayla needs more dex, though. I gave her accuracy. You did? Okay. Yeah. Just to see if that Because if she can get any attacks at all, I, I suspect that's going to be good. That's not a coincidence, right? Yeah, I'm just going to mash it. I'm just going to auto this and see. And just see what happens. Yeah. Missed. Missed. Nope. Okay. We can't use Ayla. We just can't use her. Yeah, no, I guess not. Well, yeah, literally, like literally every physical attack is missing. <laughs> So this is useless. Okay, yeah. So you got to do all magic. So yep. you need like Luca, Luca Marley, oh, Chrono. But I can't take Ayla out of the party right now. Okay. Uh, so, and I mean, you gave her accuracy? Yeah. I mean, the only thing is, is like, I just got to hope that she hits him. You could swap Marley for... I'm just going to get... Um, Either Robo or Frog. But Frog's also physical. What's his dex? Or his accuracy? I'm, I'm just going to hit him with magic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, fair. I'm just going to do the Zerker Ring here and then just like... Just hope that she lands one or two? Just, yeah, and just pray. That way I'm only controlling two people. Uh, oh, maybe Robo. Robo has the most HP. Yeah. Five versus 418. But he's also slow. He is. Let's but what? Let's equip him with a speed belt. Oh, he has one already. Holy shit, he's super slow. Yeah. That might be a detriment in this fight. Could do... Let's do this. Luca has firebomb stuff, though. Isn't her magic pretty good? Yeah, it is pretty good. But the water attacks are bad. Yeah, water is good. I can see if we can do the water combos and see if that helps. Yeah. Uh, and I, and I have the critical hit rate. I don't know if that helps. I guess we'll try. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I actually didn't look at what his accuracy was. Oh, not auto. <clears throat> well, I mean, you want her on auto. Well, she is on auto. She's not doing anything yeah. right now. Yeah, it looks like oh, she's going to die. God damn. 
I can't have him hit two people, like, hit the same person twice. Yeah. You don't have anybody that can take two hits, it seems. Okay, let's see how much, a like, a, a tech does. It's like, I have Sword Stream, which does water damage. And let's see if that counts as using the magic accuracy. My worry is that it's still going to count as a... Nope, it uses, but it's still like the same amount of damage and it uses two people's turns. Yeah. Like 260 is like freaking nothing. And then water, how much does water do? Almost 200, so it's not worth using two people's turns. Yeah. To do, to do that. He's fast, holy shit. I don't know if I can do this with just Ayla. I lose basically an entire person to hit. But if I get Chrono at level 30... Yeah, you you miss the whole opportunity. You miss it? That's right. That's so much fun. You could also try Robo for the triple tech. And see if that is better. I can't... That's the thing. I can't, though. I can't get Ayla out. Oh, right, you can't get Ayla out. And then he just, he just dies in two hits. Yeah, look at, uh, see, like, do a quick Google hey, search. I looked like, his stat, I... Well, just, like, can't be hit by physical attacks. Like, what is the reasoning behind them? Because it's, it's literally every physical attack is, is missing. Maybe it's because it would make it too easy. Oh, that missed. Yeah, every tech is missing. Do you have haste yet? No. You don't have haste yet, okay? Uh, Marley is gonna learn it next. Yep, yeah, she's gonna learn it next. I need 54 for it to learn it. And I'm sure that would be helpful. Uh, she does have fucking It's like two. It, this just specifies it's like you really should just be doing Luke. You really should just be doing magic stuff. Try. We haven't tried Luca yet. Try Luca. The, I I don't think it's the the problem of trying Luca. I think it's the fact that Ayla is basically a handicap. I don't have a third person to play the, well, to do the fight. Yes. I think that's more the issue. I don't think it has anything to do with trying Luca. It's just like, yeah, I like in, in a fight that I get two turned, I have to have somebody who can do enough damage. I can't have someone doing literally nothing or being like an insane healer. Like if if Ayla could be Yeah, say like now Luca's dead in two shots and now I'm I'm down to one person doing I think I just have to go for the layer and see if I can do it that way. If I hit level 30, that's... Yeah, like, that's... It's literally three rotations of, of somebody not dying. Can maybe be done if the attack pattern is like beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. Like... It can be done with a lot of random RNG. Yeah, I don't see anything that specifies. I mean, I'm, I got like four attacks in right there, but like, I, Chrono is the only one attacking, so it's kind of like rough. 
I don't see anything specific here about like how to messing with accuracy. Basically, the only thing you can do on the front of accuracy is uh, it can maybe be done with you increase your own. You can't decrease his. It can maybe be done with frog, just because frog is fast. He also has higher magic defense than a lot of other characters. Apparently, Robo specifically, Robo I think has like the worst magic defense by default. Um, I don't need the the blade at the moment because no, you're not going to be using it. No... Who else has the speed? speed. Robo does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Marley. Um, we're gonna do the speed belt here. Get your speed to thirteen. This What's might, his? Is this Ruby Vest cool. the best for him? It halves the fire damage if, they, if he hits me with a fire move. You don't have anything else that just like increases your magic defense no, it's overall. No, on Chrono right now. Okay. And it's only by five. And then Ayla, the only thing she'll you would just be... be my healer. Yeah, the only thing you would need to do for Ayla if you wanted her to attack would be to give her accuracy, and that she's, didn't seem to she's do a enough. Healer and to take, to take <clears throat> and just to take a hat. Take Jesus. a hit. She took so. Much yeah, if she damage. if she's to take less, it's better. But if she's to take the two hits, then maybe. So like I'll heal Frog with Kiss right here and hope that like he can take another hit. And then he kills Ayla in a shot, and then like I'm fine. I mean ideally he hits ideally he hits uh Chrono soon. And also ideally he uses as much fire as possible. Yeah, because it only does 120, I can handle those a lot more. But it's the electric attack. 400. Yeah. The speed here is really what's going to matter. 275 is so much. It is more than half, unfortunately, so Chrono should get healed. Yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a little kissy-kissy to Chrono real quick. And menuing during all these long animations is good too. Yep. Okay. This is certainly okay, the best run yet. That's her dead now, so we can. Okay, you're on a timer now. Yeah, we can. Frog can take a fire. He could take two. And, he could take two attacks. I think no matter maybe what. Maybe an ice. Ah, oh, he's dead. Never mind. He took the lightning hit. He's 400. Oh, 341. Yep. yep. That's such an unfortunate RNG. Okay, we'll just keep going. Chrono should be able to take two hits. Um, as long as it's not... Um... Yeah, we're one more. Yep. Do you yeah, have I'm, a... out of, I'm, out of, I'm out of mana now, too. Do you have a max potion or anything? Actually, I'm not sure you're allowed. Oh, that was it! Oh, let's go! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Is choice set one magic capsule and five mid ethers. Whew. I was literally like two Done. mana yeah. points left. I had no mana left. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom real fast. Redo your party. Get all your equipment back. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Um, hero's badge goes here because literally nobody else can equip it. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, party. Like Marley. Ooh. That was. Uh... That was close. That was really close. Ooh. God. Music's so good. No, I don't want to fight the dinos, because the dinos okay. take so long to fight. Back. Actually, I should fight the dinos, because I need haste. Never mind. Yeah. I changed my mind. Yeah, haste also would have made that fight trivial. Yeah. Just haste Chrono and just call it a day. All right, well, back to what we were doing. Right, so... Cyberpunk cities. Was done. Cyberpunk. 
Um, future cities, whatever. I think they could be at the top of B tier just because there are people who do it extremely well and they look good and they're f oh, okay. No, you know what? Let's do bottom of A tier. Okay. Because they can bottom be really, they can be they can be really pretty and fun and have the really cool aesthetic and they can be dark and dingy, but they have to be well done. Okay. Well, All they right. Are, they're usually some of the coolest areas. Next, we've got our final. Well, no, these there's a lot of city adjacent yeah, things. That's, that's... So next, I have I labeled this as like seedy underbelly, which can be applied to a bunch of different aesthetics. Um, but it is kind of its own thing, right? Yeah, I understand what you're getting at. Like Rogue Port is this. Um. Cyberpunk has a bunch of these areas. Yeah, and usually uh, these are like you're either infiltrating or you have to go there. I'm, I'm trying to think like where would this be in like a Mass Effect? In Mass Effect, um, um, I think of like the the really entertainment area where you oh, go yeah, in there's, and all there's that like stuff. bars and um, there's all the bars and stuff. There's always this like dance the -like aesthetic. The wards. That's what it was in Mass Effect One. It was the area with a bunch of the shops and the casino um, and the they clubs. Can be, they can be pretty cool. They yeah, these are way more about, like, characters, but... They could also just be fine, so... I think it's, like, a bottom of a B. Yeah, I like them. I just like you get some interesting characters there. Um... Okay, next city adjacent. Damn, I'm thinking I actually need to put the counter on... Elar. Oh, the, the counter ring, yeah. Because, like, she just does so much damage. Right. And then you can give Chrono something more interesting. Um, okay, next is going to be uh, sewers. Oh, interesting. Because you get, you get sewers in a lot of games. Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I have Stray is what I have here. Stray has a huge sewer section. Um, Under Mario sure. games, obviously. He's literally a plumber. You go into sewers every um, now and then. Final Fantasy VII R. Seven, oh, yeah. Seven. Oh, yeah. Um, usually have some interesting bad guys. Usually have to deal with a lot of poison. Yeah, and poison. Anytime you do this kind of um, uh, level. Yeah, you'll have you'll sometimes have like alligator type stuff. You've got um, sometimes dealing with that poison. This can be slightly frustrating depending on the game. Yeah, thousand year door has its own little sewer section, right? Um, Paper yeah, Mario One for much more. Paper Mario One actually also has a sewer section, as does Super Paper Mario. Now that I think about it, um, I think all of them do. <laughs> Ooh, Chrono and Rays, let's go. Nice. Um, this is next one. Frenzy. Which is the Berserk spell, right? It's oh, no. Four time. It's just an attack. Uh, haste is like 12. Yeah, so sewers. Um, sometimes they're usually just dark. If they do enough with the contrast of like a neon green and have that kind of thing... But the issue with sewers is very similar to the issue with most other games is they're all kind of samey. It's a pipe with a thing and a That's goo true. and a That's There's stuff. pipes and there's sewage, yeah. Um, it's probably a bottom of a B. Okay, all it's right. It's because sometimes the enemy, the enemy um, fluctuation or enemy diversity can be a lot better than like say a Midwestern town or a, anything like that. Old Western, you mean? Oh, yeah. Old Western. Um, yeah, no, you can get some... You get, like, again, you can... It's kind of like a crossover between Swamp and ci and City, basically. You can get some poisony stuff. You can get some goo monsters. You can get... Uh, goo! Um, but also, yeah, I like a lot of times there's, like cool sections with ladders and a lot of times sewers have oh last of us does sewers you get some cool a lot of times you get puzzles sewers are a lot of times puzzle areas yeah typically because it's all about getting access i mean chrono trigger arguably the in the future 
kind of a sewery esque place. You go down into yeah, you go down into basically sewers to get between a couple of the domes. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I can't remember if they're literally oh, called yeah. sewers, yeah. but the stray sewers are also really good. Again, you got to play stray sometime. I add it to the pile, I know, but like stray is great specifically because it's like six or seven hours at most. It's just not a long game. <laughs> um, so you could you could knock it out in a day or a weekend. Um, OK, next one is and this one's super niche, but it did come to mind, which is suburbia. And the two games that came to mind there, well, are again, Last of Us, just because it takes place in the real world. So you do get it's like ruined suburbia, but it's suburbia. Uh, Pikmin 4 has is all like you're in like a neighborhood and there's a section where you're like in a house and then um plants vs zombies yeah that's also true. the shooting games the uh, like modern modern oh yeah your warfare games those games were really fun garden warfare um and it's very as a suburban feel mm -hmm. at the same time uh, or even uh there's parts of new york city in Marvel Spider Man in Spider Man where it's yeah. like you get to go to the neighborhoods and stuff. But yep. it's also the least interesting part of those games. I'm True. also thinking like um, Well Spider Man can't swing off of two story houses. Yeah. I'm also thinking in terms of like this is gonna be a hell of a throw, but like if you remember playing the old Toy Story games on like the Sega. Oh yeah. Well and I don't think I played that, but I I had like an Army Man game. Yep. The green the Army Man for the N64. Yeah. No, I was. I had it on PC. For oh like yeah, it was 95. also on PC. It was also on PC. Yeah, um, it was in 64, and I think maybe PlayStation as well. Um, yeah, Small Soldiers is also kind of similar type thing as a game of Small Soldiers that was just fucking atrocious, but like, yeah, it has that aesthetic. Um, you could you well no that it's fine. It's a fine aesthetic. It's really not my favorite because there's not a lot you can really. I I really it. like it in Pikmin because you're tiny and so it's you get to see it from a different angle. Arguably, there's that there's the Mario Kart track that's through the like the bathroom or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could argue that's kind of in the same field, in the same uh. Yeah. Well, range. If, if it's oh oh another actually this is gonna be the uh, Hot Wheels game. Oh yeah, um, oh, which the there's two one. of them, and there's the old ones as well. But the new ones, like the, the those games, are actually really fun little racing games. I love the old one. Hey, yeah, no problem, Thread. I've seen you've been playing some fun. Build the tracks through like the suburban house or whatever has yes. you know, or like sometimes there's I think there's one level like you jump a house out of a window into another house. The one like... the in the one I played, there's the there's the like sandbox playground. And then there's the greenhouse was the one that was really hard. There was like one jump that was really hard to make. Um and then it had like the basement and I'm just yeah, I have no idea. Either. Oh, this is, yeah. If I'm being honest. Uh, we're fine. We're good. Um, I would put it, man, it, there's so much variety with it, but it's such hit or miss if it's good. I think would be the problem with um, the Suburban. So, oh, there's a. Uh, I'm going to put, put Suburban in C tier. Okay. C tier. Where in C tier? Currently, you have um, Swamp, Grasslands, Medieval, and Old West. Above Medieval. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at the guide real fast. There's apparently a male, uh, like a torso armor you can get at some point. There's the Ceratopper helmet and the Miso male. Um... Oh, but you have to get to like a maze first. You're not in the maze yet. Uh, okay. Next, we've got. Are there any more city adjacent ones? No. We have some like herb. So the other ones we have that are vaguely similar are I've got farm. So admittedly, this is mostly going to be like in farming games. Yeah. 
But I, I guess that's the point of the aesthetic, I guess. Right. So, Stardew uh, Minecraft has this, of course. Um, they are cozy. Usually they Animal are, Crossing, like, depending on you know, depending on how you build it. Usually a cozy feel. Yeah. I don't really. I consider it like the same as a grassland, though. It's just kind of a thing. It has it's to just be done. a nothing. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other. Are there other games that hit the farm vibe that aren't? But I, I'm pretty sure that's the whole point. Like, yeah. a, you're not gonna have. Well, I mean, okay, like Moo Moo Meadows and Mario Kart. I still consider it a solid. Just to see. Okay. It's, it, there's nothing going for. It's the same as Grasslands almost, with just slightly more things going on. Okay. But not quite as good as Grasslands, or better. Not as good as Grasslands. Um. By the way, this is the maze now. So, you're looking for both a helmet and, like, a chess piece. And everything else it says is, like, skippable. There's other stuff, but it's, like, not a huge deal if you miss it. But you want to get the mail and you want to get the kill helmet. This fucking thing that keeps shaking so I can actually attack stuff. Oh, yeah, those things are the worst. Um, okay. And then finally, Haunted House. Oh, I knew this would be on here. You got your Luigi's Mansion. You got I... your Boo Houses from Mario 3. I hate them. Or Mario World. I love the Boo Houses in Mario. They're, they're, those levels are so tough, but I... I I like the Boo Houses. They're my favorite aesthetic, even if the levels are sometimes a nightmare. I find so. those levels to just be... Because usually there's some kind of maze and there's something, there's some kind of mechanic. It's it's a it's like here, let's turn a platformer into a puzzle game. And it's like, oh, there you go. You got your helmet and your mail. You're like good. <laughs> um. Oh damn! What the? Damn. Okay. There. Oh, and there again. It's a it 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 falls into the same kind of samey vibe where where like, like Luigi's Mansion Jones? stuff is like stylized so it makes it interesting but like for the yeah. rest of them like uh think of bravely default 2 you have to go through the the mansion that's kind of abandoned or whatever in the first yeah. like, level it's like kind of just fine it's just fine they're just there it's very oh. similar to the medieval aesthetic in luigi's mansion did you ever play luigi's mansion 3 no you... luigi's mansion at all Oh my gosh. Number one, you should play one. It's not a long game at all. We should consider that for podcast because it's like like a 20 hour game. We could knock it out in a couple of months of podcast. It would not even be hard. <laughs> um, and it's also not a hard game. Luigi's Mansion 3 is gorgeous, but it, it also does some things differently. Um, other haunted house. Yeah, a lot of JRPGs will take you to a ghost area. You could argue the train graveyard kind of the it same. Is. It is, yeah. It's it's train, but it's a haunted house. It's spooky. Um, there's... Nicely done, Ayla. That was a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, because he's shocked right now. Because you have right. to shock this fat idiot or he'll keep beating the hell out of you. But my um, chrono has no freaking magic. What other... What other games have, like, a haunted house? Uh, you could argue a lot of Last of Us, basically, is that, because it's zombies in a run-down house. Um, either way, I'm going to upset you. I think they are a DT. You've got desert, Egypt, snow, and underwater. Well, they're above desert. Okay, top of D. I mean, I, that doesn't upset me, per se, but... Um, and it's another one where there's not, like, a ton... Of them, there's more than you actually think. Like especially in like the JRPG era of things, there's a whole like spooky ghost train in. Um, I mean, this Final game Fantasy has, Six has a uh, like a crypt, which is similar. Um, so like, it is a thing. Okay, now we're getting into even more niche. I've got. Uh, Sky, which I will include Sky Islands here, because typically Ooh. you need to be on something. You're not typically just in the sky. You mean admitted... something uh, mount, something mountable or or somewhere you can land in the sky, basically. Right, like Whether every now a... and then you could be on a plane, maybe, but usually yeah. you're gonna be on you're gonna be on some kind of floating island, Sky Islands. Let's be real, you know. 
Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you're like there's two or three yep. levels that are on a plane that are very, very difficult. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonic also has Sky Islands, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, Sky Island level. Uh, Sky Loft is the picture, right? Uh, Sky Red Sword. Um, Sky can, can can be done super well. In the Messenger and Sea of Stars both have Sky Islands. Mm -hmm. um, it can be done super well. The problem is like if, if you get to fall off and then therefore have to like get back that part can suck. Yeah, a, a lot of times they're going to be tough. They're kind of like volcanoes in that you're going to have like uh, um, if you fall you die. Because with volcanoes it's lava, right? Yeah, most of the time if you fall you like reset. Basically. You die or reset, yeah. Um, and that mechanic can get slightly annoying depending on the mechanics, of, like how mechanical the game is itself. But usually yep. it's not bad, and it can add a little bit of a challenge. And most, hopefully, most of the time it doesn't set you back too far. Um, so skies can be cool. They can also just be bland, like sky with some rocks and a couple old ruins that have been well, I mean, up into the air. Zeal. What the hell are you doing here, big guy? He's the boss. Or no, he's the uh, sub boss or whatever. Nope. Uh, Not yet, I guess. You definitely do have to fight Nizbul. Like that's the next thing on the, <laughs> the next thing. You had to open the sealed door. And it says if you try to head north. This bull will fight you. Um. Uh, other, yeah, other sky. Or like clouds. Super Mario RPG has like cloud areas, right? Mm. That's I mean, also sky. There's not a lot of them, and they can be fine. I would put them in the bottom of B. Bottom of B, really? I would have thought that. Between mm. Sea of Stars and... I mean, there's some cool stuff that you can do. There really is, but it's hard to And the so. Messenger was really cool. Um, I think of, like, the flying airship stuff in 10 is really kind yeah. of just... Like, mechanically is neat, but, like, is also kind of... Eh. I, isn't there a whole Bioshock City in the Sky situation? Mm, I don't play Bioshock. Yeah, me neither. I think there's a whole City in the Sky. Uh... Any other? Obviously, any playing? game, any game that takes. Just try to walk past her. Can't. Just like. Mm. You can't uh, like squeeze past her. Oh, I guess I can. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Hmm. What a wild. Well, what was she, what was she saying? Was she saying like Azal is up ahead? Yeah, basically, but like it doesn't look like. And now she's like. Now she's gonna fight me. Yeah. Um, okay. Then I've got uh, space. Which admittedly tough because space can be space stations. It can also be like the surface of like barren planets. I wouldn't count like the Citadel in Mass Effect. I wouldn't count that as space because it's a big it's basically a future city really. But, but man, like, but you can... go to one of the barren planets where you can like, you're on a moon and you can see the planet above you and you got to be in a spacesuit the whole time. That's space in my head. You can head. do some cool shit with space. Among Us, space. Like, a lot of shit can be done very cool. Uh, no, I completely agree. I really, I mean, I really like it. Space station stuff, uh, but I'm just a slut for sci-fi. Let's be real. I really am. Um, um I need to hit him a Yeah, the entirety of Mass Effect when you're not in like a major city space. Uh No Man's Sky. It doesn't No Man's Sky was not a perfect game on release, but it had the aesthetic correct, like from the beginning. <laughs> it did. And it was very good at it. Oh yeah. You should really haste Marley so that she can heal more. <laughs> I really should keep apparently hitting him with freaking magic because 
For what it's worth, I think Ms. Bill's a girl? Yeah, she is. No, this says he. I don't know. Um, apparently I need to go forward. I can't remember if haste um, does it work. Uh, I think it does, but I think it takes a hot minute. Uh, oh, she saw it. Um, space. Uh, Esther. Top? Mm -hmm. Above lava? Yeah, above yeah. city? Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. Uh, space is great. There's some really All cool right. stuff that can be done. No, I, I completely agree. Mass Effect, I, there's like... The later Mass Effect games do a lot of things better than the early games, but Mass Effect 1 specifically hits this note with like... When you find creepy derelict spaceships with like empty... And you probably remember that, where you go and it's just like weird, creepy music and you just don't know what's going to be on the ship. It could be, like, monsters. It also just could be people. It could be nothing at all. You just don't know what you're going to find. It's one thing, thing I really like about Mass Effect The thing one. that makes Chrono Trigger so good, the fact that you really can't just button mash through boss fights. For the most part, yeah. You just really can't. Oh, Ayla's not hasted anymore. She got hit with some something. She um, confused? Poison. Is that what that is? Yes. I think I hit him with too many of the um, lightnings. Oh, and she gained her haste back, actually. I just think it was still on her. It just wasn't being shown. Yeah, I didn't know how to show both at once. Ooh, that was just a that was just a freaking that was just a counter counter attack. Please. All right, next I've got. We'll call it like. I have it. I had it labeled as like Techno Fortress. So this is your like Horizon Zero Dawn cauldrons. It's your like sci-fi oh. facility or factory. It's like uh, um, I think you could do some steampunk stuff here. I think a lot of FF Seven R or just FF Seven could fall under this umbrella, depending. Um, like the like Shinra, I would not quite, but like I feel like that's kind of close because it's kind of high tech and stuff. It's Magitech. I get what you're going for. Horizon's the obvious. It's a picture of a cauldron. <laughs> I think that's the obvious one. Yeah, that's really good though. Yeah, um, but yeah, I we see. I feel like you sometimes see some stuff where it's like you know a big again. It's like instead of a castle, it's like a big metal facility. You know. Um, the Mako reactors. Um, I like them. I think they're pretty good. Uh, they usually do something. They usually either add like a cave plus technology aesthetic or some kind of really cool techno thing to get through that is like an interesting gauntlet that you either have to solve puzzles for and fight interesting enemies and so it's usually a lot of interactivity when you do these kind of things yep. um i like them i'd say they're like mid a mid a forest mountain cave um, uh i put them above cave okay all right Next, and let's be real, this is going to be an easy ass. Ruins. Uh, regular, just normal ruins? I'm just saying ruins, because ruins can apply to a lot of different things. You can have future ruins. You can oh, okay. have... You're saying ruins overall. Yeah, because, like, you could have... You could subdivide it. You could have future ruins. You could have old-timey ruins. You could have overgrown ruins. You could have derelict ruins. Because if you just say ruins, you could also include things like derelict buildings would be ruins, right? Haunted house could kind of be ruins if you just don't have ghosts. Then yeah, if it's like all ruins, then yes, it's an easy. If it was, if it would subdivide, which would be absurdly yeah. annoying, like beach ruins and. You know. I think the thing that makes ruins ruins specifically is going to be that. Are they interesting? <laughs> well, is that they're gonna have. Um, you're going to have, like, blocked pathways. Let's usually get, like, the whole point of it being ruins is that it used to be something, and now it's not that anymore. Mm -hmm. So you have to navigate the area by 
crossing broken pillars or by removing debris or whatever, right? Yeah, overgrown ruins are like your obvious one. Yeah, I I like ruins because it usually adds some depth to wherever you're going, wherever or whatever you're in. Um, they can be done really shittily where they're just some pillars and stuff. But they can be done really really well, like uh, just like an old building. Zero basically. Dawn is really good, at, and and Forbidden West is really good about having ruins. A lot of JRPGs are really good about having ruins of like a church or a whole entire. Like civilization, they got flattened, and now it's a ruin. You know, it's, I, they could be the very only cool. the only ruin I'm trying to think of that was bad is kind of in the in the Dragon Quest Monsters game that just came out recently. <laughs> you go down to there's like some underground ruins where S Dark is or something. And it's it's less ruins and just like old temple, but like nothing interesting happens trying to think of what this was one thing it was in the wrong order yep well you didn't have to fight the monsters so um i'm gonna have to fight these freaking monsters again though because this game doesn't understand me oh i didn't let's go um okay so s tier yeah, yeah, yeah uh space lava city um Above lava, probably. Okay. Ugh. But yeah, no, the, the Dragon Quest one, the ruins were just like, here's just a big room with a thing in it, and then you go to the next one, it's like, okay, here's just another big room with a thing in it. <laughs> Breath of the Wild has some cool ruins. The Forgotten Temple, which I assume you found. Forgotten Temple's great. Arguably the labyrinths you could count as ruins. You get a new sword. Uh, no, I don't. What was it called? I have the helmet. No, you got a Triceraptor, I it's thought, or something. No, Triceratopper. I know. I think you got, I swear you got something else. Nope, it's right here. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I swear it was something else, but I get. I'm probably just crazy. Probably just crazy. <sighs> yeah, no, it was just. It was another one of those. All right, it's big boss time, by the way. Mm -hmm. Damnable red stuff. I oh, say I damnable know. when it's that. Damnable. First, I when it's there, I I do pronounce the end. Interesting. I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's how I stain say. the earth red. Even should it prove our fate to die, we will not relinquish the world. To the this black tyranno of honor of wiping filthy. Hey, by the way, black tyranno. Tyranno conductor, another Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Sorry. <laughs> He's a red eyes black dragon. I'm just it. Black Tyranno feels like the name of a product you would buy from Bad Dragon. If it I'm being entirely I bet honest. you it is. You could Google it right now. <laughs> I bet you you'll find it. Uh, I mean, I. That'll in, be uh, incognito Ted. An, an exercise for later. <laughs> Incognito Ted, that shit. You really want to know? I kind of do. Oh my god. It's <laughs> not Kappa. <laughs> I'm sure they have. Well, they definitely have dinosaurs, but yeah, I don't. I doubt it's called Black Tyranno. Copyright. <laughs> uh, all right. TM. So, okay. I want to get this one out of the way because I'm stupid. I don't like it. Okay. Candy or food. Theme. Oh, this is D. This is the bottom of D. This is a, this shit's terrible. I hate it. The only exception, the only time I've ever seen a good food biome was in Super Mario Wonder. The desert is the food biome. Yeah, that's and not it's really that clever. It's subtle because, like, instead of sand dunes, it's like meringue or something. It was interesting. Like, instead of sand, it was... The idea was, like, you're supposed to be thinking it's sugar. Like a, so yeah. Was, and I saw... So it was subtle enough that you don't immediately see it, whereas the I have the picture of the Dragon Quest. It's just in your face. And I hate it. I hate I, it. I usually can't stand... Oh, my God. That was a lot of damage. And it Fuck. healed, too. 
<laughs> you did nothing to it, of course, because it's... Yeah, I gotta kill this guy, right? You need to kill Ozala. Oz yeah, you're not gonna kill Tyranno first. Yeah, Ozala, I, to... I looked at the thing, Tyranno has like five times the health as Yeah, Ozala. I have to kill this thing first. Oh, right, he's just like using telekinesis or whatever. How much health does that hold? I think you need to be doing thunder stuff. I think they're both going to be weak to thunder. They are. Um, but yeah, no, I, I hate food themes. Like I said, Mario Wonder was the exception. They did. It was very clever. And like, I didn't realize it right away. I thought it was very cool looking once I realized what was going on. Because it's literally called the Sun Baked Desert. So it's all baked good theme. Still like, deep still the very bottom no i know i i still think that's where it belongs but it, it was that's the only time i've ever seen it and liked it um okay next we have biological oh so yeah, that's like your creepy, job the creepy mass of stuff and that's your jabu jabu's belly that's your actually starfield did this a bunch where there's like stuff growing on all the walls and stuff it's starfield like, had a few areas like it's that like fine it, it's uh, not that interesting. I mean, me. I hate Jabu Jabu's belly, but I do think the aesthetic, it, like, the idea was cool. There's, um, you get to do, in Kingdom Hearts, you get to go inside the whale of Pinocchio. Mm, yeah. I, again, it's, yeah, I feel like a lot of them are probably whales. Yeah, it's, it's, like, fine. It's um, a, it's a, it's a bottom of the sea. I feel like there's some good horror stuff when you get into scary things. I'm sure, yeah, and there and there's some Devil May Cry stuff where you go inside of like demons and or you have like demon esque flesh and shit. Yeah, like that's, I would, genuinely but, was surprised by how much I liked it in Starfield. They did some fun stuff with there it. There you go. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting it in Starfield, but they did this like uh, there was a bunch of stuff where it's like yeah, you go and then there's like just like monsters that like made little flesh things that grew up onto the walls and stuff so it's like metal ruins with fleshy stuff everywhere which was pretty cool damn 474 hell yeah um what other good what other biological ones are there there's not much besides horror games yeah horror games are gonna have it a lot any other yeah. Was that just her by herself? No, it's Thunder. It's a dual tech. Oh, that was the dual. That was okay. Thunder yeah, Trump. Yeah. yeah. Good move. Yeah. Um, um. All right, and then my final one is I just have non Euclidean. So the example, the picture I have is actually the like final dungeon from World of Final Fantasy. Oh. But also, you could argue in Pokemon Platinum, yeah. the... Or even, like, some kind of, like, anything that does some weird, goofy, dimension-esque thing. Yeah, um... I'll put a barrier on, thinking that would have been a physical move. Uh, nope, definitely just fire. I don't know if I've ever seen this. That attack. That wasn't even that bad! He had a um... five-turn countdown for that? I mean, it's going to take me three turns to heal at all, but it's not, like, terrible. He doesn't do that much damage overall anyway, so it's yeah. not that problem. Um, the game Antichamber, the little puzzle game, it technically doesn't really have much of a biome, but, like, it was cool, and it had a lot of non-Euclidean stuff. Um, the, uh, I played a game called... Oh, shit. I played a game called... Oh, you're going to... You lost all your buffs, too. I played a game called Manifold that was super cool. I don't know if I ever showed you. I don't know if I ever showed you that game. It was a it was an uh, indie game I bought, and it was like super interesting. Um, but it had some weird non-Euclidean type stuff going on. What are some other good examples? Uh, it, there's just not enough examples for it to be. There's got to be some other ones where you like where like you go indoors and you pop out different places than you expect I've got haste on him now yeah that one dungeon in world of final fantasy where you're walking on walls and it's just like 
a nonsense. Like it's just like weird crystals everywhere. Yeah, and, like, they they are fractally cool when they can be done. But the problem is they're not done that often. I I really just think of like kind of like dimensiony break type stuff and weird. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I, like your like weird interstellar void, the space between worlds, if yeah. you're anything like that. Yeah, because that's I feel like that's a thing. Even if it's brief, you know, you'll have segments where maybe during this weird dream section, control actually basically the entire game control. <laughs> a lot of JRPGs do it at the end of the game, where it's like yeah. a whole sequence of things that are happening at the end of the at the end of the JRPG. I need to show you, Control has the whole music video section where you do a whole non-Euclidean thing, which was super interesting. That one was, because also Control has that, like, 90s corporate aesthetic thing. It was like, and this section, it looked like like an old hotel. How much See, health does this thing have? Uh, 10,500, oh, by the way. shit. Which you've done a couple, you've done multiple attacks that there do a thousand damage. There yeah. I was like, it has to be soon. Boulder toss. Morally increased. Now I have ice toss. Let's go. Dual tech between the ladies. Falcon strike. Now it's time for the best part of the game. Which we'll get to do next time, I guess, after we listen to the music. The heavens truly have sided with the apes. Booga booga. Not proudly to the bitter end. Ayla, no. Uh oh. First, the great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the land. And the chill will begin to creep across the bracken plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. A fitting end to our age, indeed. What? Here it comes! Oh this yeah, this cutscene! Sonic the Hedgehog! Shadow the Hedgehog? I love the star, like, that's not... It no. Looks kinda, if you look at the center, it kind of looks like a butthole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just the stars remind me of that old game. What was it called? Fucking that arcade game. Was this, it's not just asteroids. Yeah. There's, there's no, there's another one. Galaga. Space games. Ayla, people word. La means fire. Bos means big. Is it, is it Defender that I'm thinking of? Halo. Kino. No! No, it's not Defender. Alright, Dactyl! You know, hurry! Oh my gosh, what was this game called? It was... My dad had it. He really liked it. Take care of this world. And I played it. <clears throat> Lavos hit the ground. And then screeched. Like a, like a banshee. So lava fell to the earth in this area, where it started to gather all of the magical power. Lavos huge. Chrono, fight that. We go place Lavos fall. I mean, now is the time to fight it, right? It's weak. We still might be able to do something. Let's see. True, we might be able to do something. Or we get our ass blasted. This is. A very good stopping point because we'll start the next part of the game.
Do you want to walk into the next part of the game? Uh... So we can just talk and listen to the music? I'm trying to figure out the name of this old game. What was it called? Oh, wait, you should switch your... Or no, we want to take Ayla into the future because I think it'll be interesting. I don't know if I... Or the... Pa whatever. I don't know where this place... Where is this place exactly? It's the future, but... Or it's the past, but the future, but the future of the past, past, the future. Terra Cave. More cave. Oh yeah, there's this over here. Skyway. Ugh, best music in the game. Definitely not Chrono Trigger. Uh stole from or CSR stole from Chrono Trigger at all with this whole idea. <laughs> Heavily inspired by I'm Skyway. just like scrolling through trying to find a picture of this game. Of Galaga, no, it had this uh, there was thing uh, the boss was this Kajar. Yeah, let's just we can just listen to the music. We don't have to like we don't have to play more. My dad had this game. You're going crazy. It had the My boss brethren. the boss was like a face that had like the sides it had like the screen wrap like our asteroids did. Uh -huh. or something but then the, there was this big like face and he would shoot the sides off the face and it had like spikes I know exactly what goddamn game you're talking about I cannot find it um it's a defender game it's like a it's a it's a it's a shmup it's but no yeah it is defender was 2d side scrolling it's a shmup. This was a top down. Yes. Um. What are they called? I don't. It's not like the, there was a game called Defense. Swings around. I don't know about that. Uh. Oh, maybe so. What's it called? A bullet. Maybe it's a bullet hell. It could be considered a bullet hell. Is it? It's not this, is it? No, it is not that. Uh, what is sinister? Sinistar. Sinistar. Oh, this is not what I'm. No, that's interesting. Sinistar. It was a game. I really liked it. I wasn't correct about the spikes, but you, you, I assume you found some pictures of it. Yeah, I found them. That is the game I was thinking. My dad really liked this one. And you would shoot, you just shot the big face.
Okay, anyway, sorry, that I had to I just had to know. Sinistar. There's another one that is very that is kinda like that. You shoot a big skull and then like it changes and then does some interesting stuff. In my I'll... searching I do think I saw a picture of a big skull. But I'll never could be but Yeah, no, Sinistar. It's just this big space head that laughs at you with an evil laugh and screams and then you just shoot it a bunch. Anyways. Um you never. We need to actually rank non-Euclidean. Uh, C. Where? Uh, top of C. Above swamp. All right. That we got the tier list done. I'll I'll send a download image. I'll put it in the stream chat, and you can. Uh, let's see. Screen chat, and you can see the pictures I chose also. If it's legible, <laughs> it's probably not going to be super clear because ultimately I was just putting this together in a hurry. I'm actually not sure I did end up duplicating a game. Or even a franchise. No, I have two Zeldas. Oh, and I wound up with two Octopaths as well. Oh, uh, yeah, Sea of Stars being that old, the port. Ugh, that's so much higher if it's just the Sea of Stars one specifically. No, it's not the Sea of Stars I one know, specifically. But if, it, if it was, it would be... Port Town of Brisk was very good, though. It's very good. Um, Marvel, yes. Spider-Man 2, the city is just so fucking... Yep. So fucking... The, the jungle is, I believe, from Uncharted. Mm, yeah, that's good. Oh, there's three Zeldas, actually. And a bunch of Mario. Also, I did not realize until after the fact my desert picture that I picked had pyramids, and then my Egypt mm. picture has a bigger pyramid, but I forgot that yeah. the... I mean, that's... Not... That's just the problem with with those types of things in general yeah. is because they just have that. Yeah. Admittedly, Mario, cer certainly Mario three, is not Egypt themed. They're just there's a couple pyramids in the background, but it does not otherwise feel Egypt at all. Whereas that Mario Kart track I pulled from is literally like pyramids and a sphinx and obelisks and stuff. It, the crop only shows the pyramid and an obelisk. But anywho. We did it. All right, that's going to be it for us, you two. We really appreciate you being here and seeing us through. If you do, if not, you're missing out. Quality content right here. Probably we should not. be back next week. Probably not. But, you know. uh, yes, the week after that, I am out of town. I'm out of town in March, but that's a ways away. Yeah, I'm out of town. Two weeks, but yeah, next week we should still be here. Yep, 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 yep. So, episode two of your pause, will we? Thanks, everybody. Deuces. Bye.